Good morning, good day, good evening. I am, as always, your host, Brody Robson. Welcome back to the live stream. Today, we are playing a game that people have been asking me to play for... I don't know how long, actually. It's got to be like... Okay, I did unmute my mic. I should have just checked to make sure that was actually good. We're good, though. People have been asking me to play this probably since I... Probably since I, like, first played any open source game on this channel. Like, whether that's Xenotic, whether that's, uh, Super Tux Cart, whether it's... Like, even when I was playing, like, a text-based game, I'm sure someone asked me to play Super Tux. So, today, we are playing it. Now, for anyone who doesn't know, uh, this game is actually available on Steam. It's free on there. I'm not playing the Steam version because it's literally the exact same version as what you can probably get in basically any distro package manager out there. Uh, on Arch Linux, it is the latest version. I can't say that's the case for every other distro out there. It may not be, but at least on Arch, the latest, uh, latest stable version is is available in the repo. So for me, getting it installed, getting it set up, all of that fun stuff, uh, pretty straightforward. So if you want to play along, I guess you can do that. If you're using Arch, you're using anything else, I'm sure. Actually, I think if you're not using Arch, there might be like a flat pack or an app image available. So if you have trouble like getting the application built, those are always an option as well. Did you finish LFS? Uh, no, I didn't finish LFS. I'm just taking a break so I don't lose my mind. We will be going back to LFS when, uh, in in due time. It's just a matter of matter of when. I'm probably gonna do like two streams of LFS and then take a break. Two streams, take a break, something like that. Maybe I'll change it up every so often, but. When I was going, doing nothing besides LFS, I was I was losing my mind. Those streams were not fun for me. That's part of the reason, like, I took a break over Christmas. Aside like the fact that, you know, no one's going to watch a live stream, at least you shouldn't be watching a live stream over Christmas. Uh, the main reason was because of LFS. Like, I, I was just sick of it at that point. Ubuntu Repo has Supertox version 0.2. 6.2-1 build 1. What a what a beautiful name that is. Uh, in the case of Arch Linux, I believe it's 0.6.3. I'm, I'm pretty sure it is. Let me just check. Uh, here we go. Arch Linux Super Tux. Yeah. Here we go. So, on the, uh, the community repos... <laughs> no, go to the thing that I told you to go to. Uh, 0.6.3-1. So... On Arch, you can just do it like this, and I presumably, pr I, I presumably presume, yes, we'll go with that one, that it's on other things perfectly fine like that as well. I just installed it on Mint from their distro app browser. I Is it the, the, the latest version on Mint? I actually have no idea. I presume that it's not using the same version as, uh, as, as, uh, Ubuntu, but it could be. Uh, hey, Brody, appreciate your content, man. Thanks. I am very, uh, very, very happy to be your favorite uh, second monitor content. I hope at least your second monitor content. Don't put one on your main monitor. Uh, you got better things to do than main monitor stuff. It, can we get this can open? Okay, you know what? Here's a, here's a tip if you can't get a can open because your fingers are slippery. Just get a pen and just try not to break the can. Uh, there we go. Perfect. Hmm. For anyone who's curious what I'm drinking, um, we have a, oh, there we go, Smirnoff Seltzer Mixed Berry. They were, t I think they were like 50% off, and I can see why they were 50% off, because they're not very good. But they were 50% off, so I bought them. Uh, I might go back and buy a second, uh, <laughs> second full pack, to be honest. But anyway, uh, I'm not going to get too sidetracked by my alcohol. Uh, we'll play video games. I don't know, like, how long this game is. I have literally no idea. Uh, so I, I don't know how long this stream is going to go for, if we're going to finish it during this stream. And I feel like the audio is a little bit too loud. Yeah, judging by what I'm seeing on OBS, it's very close to my, my voice. So I'm going to, I'll turn it down. Also, uh, if you are playing it through, um, Pac-Man, you can just use your, your, your controller. 
At least you should be able to. Come on, focus on the window. <laughs> yeah, there we go. So controller support does work perfectly fine. Also, I don't think this game actually has 1080p texture. So if you play the game and you notice that it looks really, really bad, um, I'm pretty sure it literally just takes the takes the what the the 720p textures and then just makes them bigger because this is not this does not seem 1080p it seems a little bit blurry for that uh sure is too loud okay cool uh that i don't want to be too quiet though uh thank you chris mac macaba yes chris macaba uh thank you for the five euros Passing the inner core and waving a hi and good morning slash evening from Western Europe. Have fun. Western Europe, you would be close to GMT. So that would make it more afternoon for you. Yes. Afternoon or morning-ish. I don't know which side of GMT Western Europe is on. I know. Yeah, I, I can't remember. You're, you're, it's either morning or afternoon for you. Proprietary controller. Um... I have a PS5 controller here. I can use that instead. I've got a... I don't have any free software controllers. Uh, I have a PS4 controller. You know what? We'll just stick with the Microsoft one. Might as well. Uh, good morning from Germany. CET. Uh, 1037 for GMT plus one. Ah, okay. Okay, okay. Makes sense. I keep what is doable more difficult. Uh, it's 930 GMT. More... Okay, that makes sense. Uh, Western Europe kind of starts at GMT, I think. I don't know. I, don't, I, I, I just know my time zone, and I know I, I know how to like work out my time zone back to GMT. I just take off the hours. Ask me to do anything else, I got nothing for you. Um, anyway, uh, I think everything should be good. Oh, yeah, we can actually break the scaling of this game, so I'm going to do this. <laughs> this is what I mean when I say that it just up, it just like makes the textures bigger. Like, this is 2560 by 1440. So, um... Yeah. So, it, it, yeah, you guys probably aren't going to notice it on stream because the stream's going to, like, compress it. But, yeah, it's going to be weird. Uh, GMT is London. Yes, it is. That is true. Uh, I When I was playing this before, I noticed that... I think your Discord announcement's not working. What do you mean? I? It should be working. I posted stuff on there before. Probably makes sense to play with the D-pad, actually. Uh, I guess it makes sense why it's floaty, because, you know, you're on ice. But, I know, it's going to take a little bit to get used to. Uh, bonus blocks. Oh, oi. I was reading that. Bo bonus blocks can contain coins, power-ups, special items to help you in your quest. Hit them from below to get... Okay, I know how to play Mario. Sure. Cool. Uh, as you pick up a snowball, you become a big penguin. Sure, makes sense. Oh, this is just... Literally just Mario. Okay. Uh, the egg makes Tux grow larger. Tux can smash uh, wooden boxes with his head. That was a very weird long delay there. The hell? Okay, sure. Yeah, there we go. Uh, acceleration is weird in this game. It is a little bit strange. I it, it, like, totally makes sense because of the fact that, you know, you're on ice, but it is certainly strange. Watch me just screw everything up. Oh, we can also do a ground pound like this. Yeah, that, that acceleration is going to be very strange. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, I'm late to the stream. You're like 10 minutes late. It's fine. I only just started playing the game anyway. Okay, so we also have literally fire flowers. Oh, they're actually called fire flowers. Uh, the fire flower gives Tox the ability to shoot fireballs. Uh, what is the fireball button? X? Oh, okay, easy enough. Yeah, oh no, I, I think that that's a really cute. I'm I'm a hundred percent certain the person who did the jump and the person who did the ground pound are two different people. This is a really good animation. This this is not an animation. <laughs> Either way, but that that is a really for what this is like. That's actually a really nice animation. Well, I'll take it. Oi, I'll take it. Yo, they call me Addy. How you doing? Welcome to the show. Oh. Uh, okay, yes, you don't bounce when you ground pound. Um, Tuxdoll. The Tuxdoll gives you 100 coins. Fair enough. I'll take it. Oh, oh that explodes. 
Okay, that's that's a very different art style than everything else. Sure. I think you can play Super Tox on Windows. Uh, I presume you can. What? Wait. What is that? Can anyone translate this sign for me? I don't know. Oh, it says it right there. It's a checkpoint. Uh, activate the checkpoint if you die. You can retry the level from here. Every time you retry a checkpoint, you'll lose 10% of your coins. Is this the Pingu mod for Celeste? Is there is there actually a Pingu mod for Celeste? Oh, that's cute. <laughs> okay, I like that. Wait, wait, <laughs> hold on a second. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What? <laughs> what is the purpose of that one? Okay. <laughs> I, I, okay, sure. Um, I'll take it. <laughs> oh, and. Yay, things that I'm not going to notice are going to kill me. Oh, another fire flower that we already have. Didn't need it. And boop. So, oh, you explained the thing that I already worked out. Okay, that's cool. Boop. Oh, and that's, I guess, explaining run. Boop. Oh, they melt. That's cute. Uh, Tux for Smash. <laughs> Mate, this is the, uh, the secret DLC character. Uh, the path in front of you is blocked. Gain some speed before jumping to pass over the blocks. Fair enough. I can do that. And... Oh, that really doesn't even seem like you're going that much faster. I guess it is a little bit... F Maybe the... Maybe the, the time... No, it, it actually just do does not feel like you're going that fast. Uh, secret areas. Many e uh, er blah, blah. Many levels contain secret areas behind what seems like uh, uh, plain walls. Uh, look, for cues to f uh, look for clues to find them. Look for clues to find... So, oh, there's a... F okay, sure, there's a fish there. So I'm guessing there's a... Th oh! Okay. Okay, so... F fish can mark that you're in a... There's a special area there. Okay, good to know. Okay, makes sense. Would feel faster if you zoomed in more. It probably would, yeah. The journey begins. Obviously, the fish that are way down there, uh, we can't do anything with, but hey, here's what it is. What we got up here? Our uh, reverse proton. Oh, right, because we are talking about the game, uh, working on, uh, Windows. No, I'm pretty sure it's just straight up compiled for Windows. Like, there's nothing special going on there. I don't think there's anything there. No, okay. Unless the fire bounces off that. I'm guessing not every point that has a fish is something special. What is that? Oh, star power. Makes sense. Of course that's in the game as well. Because it's straight up Mario. And I'm going to not notice when that particle effect runs out. Why is the particle effect the same colour as the background? Or the same colour as like everything in the world? <laughs> that's not at all... Uh... Okay, so music does end when that happens. Okay, cool. That, that at least gives me some indication of what's happening there. I just joined you already ahead of me, Dem. I'm like in the second level. <laughs> I'm sure you can catch up. Uh, let's see. So, whoop, what is this? Purple block. Oh, right. I've been playing Celeste for five months now. I still can't finish it. Did I? Wait. Wait, what do you mean by finish it? Where are you up to? Can we go in the pipe? No, not in that pipe at least. I presume that there are in pipe mechanics. Oi. There we go. I had a fun time with Fedora Silver Blue and Kinote. It's just not ready yet, and I like Katie. Kinote. Kinote. That. Kinote. That's ringing a bell. I'm not sure why it's ringing a bell. Uh, open source school. Open source school soft. Mate, yeah, you know what? I would have loved to have something like this as a kid, to be honest. I actually, to be honest, uh, I. Maybe not actually, because when I was a kid, I played things like Boxhead. Boxhead, uh, Bloons Tower Defense, absolutely amazing games. Oh, oh, they, okay, so those melt. Right, makes sense. Bye. <laughs> that tree is a completely different art style. All right. Oi. Average Palace Cat Enjoyer, how are you doing? Welcome to the show. Welcome to the... Brody is gonna 
uh, probably take way too long to play this game because he's going to be talking to your chat the entire time. Oh! Oh! Okay, so they can, uh, but those can only be killed with fireballs. Right, good to know. So those are... There is an equivalent in the Mario games for that, and I'm not sure what it is. You should uh, take all the fireflies. I think you can shoot more... Oh, can you? Okay. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you. Oh. Uh, Fedora with OS tree. What about Fedora with OS tree? Oh, Five Flower. Thank you. Oh. Now, what? If, is there anything here? Why is there just a random ass fish here? Uh, FOSS now stands for free and open source school software. <laughs> Bye. Uh... <laughs> Tux, uh, Tux spitting security vulnerabilities? Hmm? What's this? What are we all about? Boop, boop. Am I gonna... Com I, I wonder if I'll actually, like, finish the entire game without dying once. You know, if I say that now, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna make some really dumb mistake because I'm not paying attention because I'm, like, trying to read chat as I'm playing this game. <laughs> this is the, uh... For anyone who hasn't watched... For anyone who hasn't watched the main channel... Oh, the, the gaming channel, sorry. That is the usual, uh, the usual go-to. I, I get cocky, and then everything just falls apart, and I, I die for seemingly no reason. Oh, well, we missed that. Oh! Oh! Well, that makes sense, you're a penguin. World 2 is very hard. I honestly thought I would die if I go in the water. Oh, okay, so I'm guessing there might be there might be some secrets that you can only get by How do we get out of the water? Do we have to be going a certain speed? Uh Uh How do we get Uh Uh am I missing something? I had no clue it's been the entire time I've <laughs> Maybe they added it recently. How, how, how do I get out of the water? How, <laughs> do I actually have to? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> is there... It's really hard to get out, but momentum is the key. Okay, so if we go... Uh, we, we literally don't have enough... Uh, a way to get enough momentum to jump high enough. Uh, you can swim. What version is this? There are six, uh, 0 0.6.3. Oh! Oh, we did it! Okay. So you actually do have to just time it really well. Okay, cool. Do not accidentally fall in the uh, the ice. That would be very bad. I'll keep that one in mind for, for future scenarios. I presume they, uh, that's, that's a, a problem that they need to address, and they're going to address at some point. But hey, it is what it is. I did hear that, like, wall jumping was recently added into the game as well. I, I do hope there are, like, levels uh, in the game at this point that make use of that. But I have no... Honestly, I have no idea uh, what the state of the game actually is in. Yo! Zephyr, how you doing? Welcome to the show. Oi. We're only in the second level, so... If you if you like the game, don't don't be worried uh, that I I've made progress. Okay, we're not gonna go over that. Oh, we have some bad guys. Oh, there's a secret here. God, I'm never gonna find most of these secrets. Am I going to finish every single level? Probably. Let's see. What are you? Oh, oh, it's two of those. Also, I think the music just got louder all of a sudden. I'll turn that down. Uh, maybe if I... Maybe I do it in here. There we go. That's better. Okay, cool. Uh, you can you can run Linux on a PS2. Yeah, I know. There was an official... Um, I don't remember what distro it was, but there was, like, an official, like... It, it's not... It wasn't like a, you know... Uh, a ROM hack, not a ROM hack, a, um, like a, 
like, the, the modern sort of distro hacking, or the console hacking we see nowadays, like, there's an actual, like, official uh, PS2 game we could just play Linux on a uh, PS2. I, I believe it was... I talked about it on the podcast. It used a really weird... Uh, it used a really weird desktop environment. Uh, Windowmaker. Use Windowmaker. Yes, that one. MIDI... Uh, what was that? MIDI keyboard OST is bot, though. It is a nice soundtrack. Uh, switches can... Can you not do that while I'm trying to read? Now, what was that? Uh, switches can be used to do all manner of things. Press the up key or use it uh, to use switch. There are also buttons that you can press by jumping on them. So I'm guessing... Oh, okay, it is up on my D-pad as well. Cool. GNU step. <laughs> oh, Firefly, nice. Uh, Michael MJD just released a video on PS2 Linux. Awesome. I uh, have no idea who that is, but I... Uh... I think it's a really cool project. I like that that's, that was like ever a thing that you could actually do. So I'm guessing if we... Pop that? Oh, that was ju literally just to, to get that. I feel like there's a quite a large delay when it comes to the... Um, shooting the, the, the fireballs. Like there's a really big delay there. Also Kaizo Super... What is... Wait, what is Kaizo Super Tux? Uh, trampolines allow Tux to jump to new, uh, to new heights. Hold down the jump button while bouncing on the trampoline to launch extra high. Okay, makes sense. Fair enough. Presume there's nothing here. Okay. We Ah, okay. They could have made it like a, a ground pound thing, I guess, but I guess that makes it easier as well. There's really, like, no skill at all involved in making sure that you actually hit that. Uh, isn't Kaizo a YouTube animation? Or am I misremembering something? Um, Kaizo as it... I like Kaizo Mario ROM hacks bullshit tier difficulty. Oh yeah, I, I know about the um the 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 Pokemon was it Pokemon Emerald Kaizo whatever it's called. I want I presume there's a oh okay that's gonna be... I'm never gonna get that. I, I'm literally never going to get that. Yeah, that's not going to happen. <laughs> I don't even know where to begin with that. Uh, oh, is that why there's such a delay? Okay. Uh, Tux can climb. Press the up key to start climbing. Press the action key or jump. So I'm guessing X is the action key. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. That's a pretty uh, sensible ladder design. Unlike I've seen a lot of AAA games have. <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, so, okay. Right, so when one of them disappears, you can fire the next. Okay, now I, now I get it. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, secret exits. Some levels can have multiple exits. They are mostly hidden, so keep an eye out for them. Maybe they'll lead you to something special. Okay. So I'm guessing up the top there might have something. The fact that it's the first secret probably isn't something that crazy then. Okay, that, that, that's not a secret exit. That's just a second one. Okay, don't call that a secret. Oh, my lord. Sure, if you say so. Uh, are you gonna go up? Okay, we don't do it. Cool. Grab that one. And boop. As the game goes on, there's going to be more content that I miss. Without a doubt. I, I presume everything after this one's going to be, uh, you know. Actually, hey, you have to pay a little bit of attention to work out what's going on. I think six are not uh, properly implemented yet. I think you had one out of one six in the first level. Yeah, that's because the first level had a tutorial to find secrets. Okay, I, I'd be very, uh, very sad if I didn't manage to find that one. It was like, hey, there is a secret here. I'm like, okay, that's cool. Because of the way the acceleration works, it's really easy to like change your direction in the air. Like, very strangely so. Snowballing, exactly. 
You know how it is. Hmm. The fact that it lets you backtrack a little bit makes me just want to collect everything as well. At least everything that I can see. Like, if there's going to be something in my way, I might as well, like, get it. Eh, there we go. Oi. Oi. Let me get up on the thing. There we go. Thank you. Oi. Nope. There we go. How has that not damaged me so far? All of the, uh... So far, like, all of the, um... The fireballs that I've hit, like, just right in front of them, they didn't hurt me, but that one did for some reason. I'm guessing it actually is supposed to, but I was just dumb and uh, didn't notice it somehow. Super Tuck speedrunners are crying right now. Are you going for secrets? Are, are there actually Super Tuck speedrunners? Are those a thing that exist? I, I, I'd be genuinely, genuinely impressed if that's a thing. Oh, wow, you bounced quite high. Oh, they actually take into consideration um, falling for their momentum. Uh, sorry, their momentum for their distance. That one. Yes, I know what I'm saying. Uh, give, die. No. No, okay. Well, that's that's going to be pain. I'm not dealing with you. Can we get back up there? Is that a thing? No, I don't think we're actually getting back up there. I think... Oh, unless we go all the way up here. Yeah, there we go. I'm going to have to get back into speed running. Specifically this game or like just in general I've never like the thing when it comes to speed running is like I as much as I, I I find it fun to you know run the same content all uh like over and over again my problem with speed running I'd be one of those people who get stuck right at the start of the game because I'd want my my first run to basically be perfect and the second I got any like any level of I guess progress at the game well, there's my first death. Uh, the second I got any level of progress at the game, I would basically just be like trying over and over and over and over and over again, uh, and get no, uh, no, not get any further than that. And boop. Well, that's that's the start of a. Uh, not a, a short list of deaths that's going to happen today. I repeat what I said. <laughs> okay, there we go. Now the game's actually like... It's not difficult, I'm just... I'm just dumb. There we go. Oh, bye. Now that we're out of this... That hitbox is really touchy. So, do not even be like a pixel onto their side, otherwise you will die. And the game will just, uh, does it will not care. You forgot the question mark? You forgot the, the, the question, question mark? Oh, because I died, I had to backtrack it. All right, yeah, that's fine. She'll be right. We, we, look. <laughs> it is what it is. It is what it is. Can we break that? Okay, no, we have to be bigger to do that. <laughs> uh, someone else did a run with. Wait, hang on a second. Yep. Just noticed my, uh, my chat slightly being covered by my camera. Much better. Now I can actually read what's going on. Uh, someone else actually did a good run with my route. Can we get down there? Is that a thing we can do? We should be able to. I guess we just like run across. Yeah, there we go. I used to play this in 2009. Good, good times. What am I doing? This ain't no 100% speed run. Uh, no, definitely not. <laughs> Remember when I said like I'd get through the entire game without dying? That was like five minutes ago, by the way. <laughs> oh. There we go. Yeah, I, I, there was no chance it was going to be 100%. Like, that would involve me finding the secrets. And I, look, I, I don't have a clue where those are. So uh, it's not going to happen. I will, I will any percent this game. I will Brody percent this game. That's what's going to happen. I will Brody percent this game. Exactly, Brody percent. You used to race so hard in this game? 
Why, why would you rage so hard in this game? This isn't a, a difficult platformer. Yeah, this is what happens when I read chat. I just ignore you guys for the rest of the stream. I'm surprised how I still remember the secrets uh, in gear. In gear? What is gear? Gear. Gear. Gears of War? This isn't difficult, dies, Brody Colorize. Have you. Wait, you've seen my gaming streams, yes? If you have, then you know how it is. If you haven't, then you'll find out how it is. This isn't a difficult platformer dies? No, this isn't a difficult plat- uh, This isn't a difficult platformer. I'm just bad. These are two different things. Exactly. <laughs> I stand by what I said. This isn't a difficult platformer, I'm just bad. There we go. Go down here. And uh, my my uh, my my badness isn't gonna change. And you're gonna have to get used to it for the rest of the stream. And then maybe another stream if I play the game again. I don't know how long this game is, so I don't know how long we're gonna shoot for. Gaming, exactly. There we go. All right, I'm too short to grab the coins like that. All right, then. <laughs> so how you guys doing anyway? I'm just going to be playing this game in the background the entire time. If you want to, like, ask me questions or whatever, uh, feel free to do so. Otherwise, uh, there's not too much to say about this game itself. It's a pretty straightforward game. I'm just bad at it. So uh, I guess we can, we, can, we can try to hold a conversation while this is going on. The Dark Souls of Platformers. No, that's, that's Celeste. That is without a doubt Celeste. If any game... If you're going to you're gonna describe anything as a... Uh, the Dark Souls of Platformers. Celeste is probably the best one for that. Either that or like Super Meat Boy, I guess. Uh, BSD content when? That's a good question, to be honest. Like, I've. I keep saying every so often I'm gonna do BSD content. Um. It's just a matter of like me sitting. Me sitting down and uh, actually doing it. And if I do like BSD content, it's gonna be on stream anyway. Like, I'm not a big fan of uh, doing like distro stuff. Or well, I guess di B uh, BSD not distro stuff. But, like you know, you know what I mean. Like trying out operating systems, things like that, uh, in video content. Because I don't, in a lot of cases, I don't really think there's a. It, it really fits. Like everything that I'm gonna say, you've probably heard a million times before. So I think it's better to sort of have people who are experienced with that system adding their feedback as we're sort of going. Use your gun. Um, I, I think, I think you're, you're playing a different, a different game. I just killed myself. Uh, what do you use to stream? Uh, is, are there options on Linux? Literally OBS. <laughs> like, OBS is, is the only thing you should ever consider using. What do you mean may not work? Wait, wait, what do you mean may not work? What is this may we're talking about here? Well, it'll be fine. Wait, what happens if they may not work? Does that mean we'll just go back to the start of the level? Well, that's a problem, isn't it? There we go. Perfect. How that? Oh my god, I missed the spike. Uh, <laughs> I straight up did not see the spike there at all. <laughs> oh, that's going to be a, a common theme. This is very intense gaming. It is. I, I finished Celeste. Why is this game giving me any level of trouble? Bro, my kids love this game. I'm sure your kids are better at this game than I am as well. I have... I have basically no doubt in that. Also, uh, we find enough uh, coins on our way back to recover all the coins we lost at this point, so uh, it's not not a big deal. There we go. There we go. See? We're fine. 
Can we, is, can we drop down? I guess we can't drop down. I guess that's not a thing. Uh, oh, ice block there. Oh, we can't get back across either. Okay, sure. Whew. See, I knew we'd get out of there eventually. Just a matter of not being bad. Oh, now he's chasing me. Oh, oh we're we literally right at the end there. Are you serious? I, I thought, honestly, there would be more, more time there. Peak of Linux gaming. You can blame the color contrast fitting. Yeah, I, I can, and I'm going to. Ever played Diablo 3? Uh, no, I've never played a Diablo game, actually. I've played ARPGs before. Um, I, I was really big into Path of Exile a couple years back now, I would say. I do like ARPGs, absolutely. Actually, on that on that topic, is there a false uh, ARPG? I have no idea. Hades is basically Diablo anyway. Uh, I, I guess you... I guess you could say that. I guess that's one way to look at it. Um, Hades is a very different style of game, to be honest. Like, Hades is pretty much just like an isom... Not isometric. Isometric? Yes, isometric. Isometric... Uh... Action... Action game with, like, basic RPG elements. Like... Hades isn't really focused on the RPG side. Like, it does have those elements, but, like, for the most part, like, that's not the the core focus. Dungeon Crawler. I guess that's a good way to put it. I'm not serious. I just want to make Diablo players mad if there are any. Oh, well. I'm I'm sure there are there are better ways to make them mad than that. That killed... Will that kill me if I touch it? Oh, no. That makes me bigger, doesn't it? Right. I actually forgot what the mechanics were. I saw one of those earlier and just ignored it. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. Uh, any reason... Wait, can I play Beyond... Oh, I can't even read. Can I play Beyond All Reason on a Steam Deck? I have no idea what that game is, so I don't want to say yes and I don't want to say no. Oh, we lost it. I'm going to say... Uh, check Proton DB. Proton DB is your best bet. Honestly, I, when it comes to the, the Steam Deck rating system, I don't know... Why, like, I know obviously why they didn't pull directly from Proton DB, um, but I don't know why they didn't use the Proton DB rating system. Like, this whole, oh, it's verified or it's playable, it really skips out on a lot of the. Oh, secrets. It really skips out on a lot of the sort of minutiae with how some games are. Like, obviously, there's more than just those two. Um, if, there, if there's more. Oh, sorry. If the game is not perfectly playable, it's going to have the like the markings for why it's not perfectly playable. But I, I do feel like it'd be a better idea... A better idea to at least, like, categorize them in a a more... What's the word? Wide sense, I guess? If that makes any sense? Like, give you sort of a, a brief, like, hey, this is how playable the game is sort of thing. Like, without having to go and look at the specifics. I, I guess it's probably the best way to put it. There we go. There we go. Uh, for text eligibility... Oh, God. <laughs> oh. Oh, I <laughs> can't die like that. Oh. <laughs> oh, now I can. I guess that it must not be jumping perfectly every time. <laughs> I Let's see. Is that going to kill us off again? Okay, so after like three shots, it does. Okay, makes sense. No, the, the Proton DB system isn't great, but what it does do is it gives you a, a at a glance indication of what's going on. I think that it should still, it should still tell you like, hey, this is what's not working. But if I see a game that's playable and that game, you know, has issues with, let's say by default, it, it, and let's say it defaults to ultra graphic settings, for example. That right there is a lot more playable than a game that by default doesn't have uh, controller bindings, for example. Like, you can always turn down the settings pretty easily, but fixing controller bindings, that takes at least, like, some level of, uh, lo some level of, of effort ac to actually do. Obviously, you do have the option, the option to use uh, Steam input, but 
it still at least takes like some level of thought to work out how the game's going to be bound. Lowering the game from ultra to something that's not ultra is, is, is a lot more playable. So a game like that could be marked as gold playable as opposed to a silver playable or something like that. I think it's a good way to put it. I still think that it's a good idea to have uh, exactly what isn't working, but a lot of people are going to see playable and assume that every playable is the same kind of playable. <laughs> if that makes sense. Because a game like um, A Way Out, for example, A Way Out is marked as playable. A Way Out makes use of the Origin client. Uh, Origin is... Um, anyone who's used the Origin client on Linux should will know straight away that... Origin is not is not fun to use. Origin is a mess on Linux. Oh, running it through Proton. Yeah, yeah. I I, I knew I I knew I was, make, <laughs> I was making some sort of. At least I hoped I was making some sort of point there. Oh, come back. Happy that uh the point I was trying to make makes sense to people that are not in my brain. That's always a, a good step to... Oh, good position to be in. <laughs> totally forgot to try... Don't try... Just don't. Just don't try Origin. <laughs> You'll be better off if you just don't have it in your life altogether. Origin sucks even on Windows. True. But... Uh, wait, do I... Hold up. I will f I'll show you the screenshot of what was happening when I was using Origin. I... Yeah, I think I sent it to the guy I was playing with. Uh, here we go. Yeah, here it is. And it gets even more broken on my system because of tiling window managers. Here it is. This is what was happening when I, I had Origin open. So, <laughs> it was putting all of the Origin windows, like, all over my screen. It wouldn't close them, even though there was no reason for them to be there. This. This is Origin. And that's when Origin were actually open. Like, I was just having problems actually, like, getting it to stay open. It, like, it would crash constantly, wouldn't let me, uh, connect, wouldn't let me, uh, actually go through the client to add him to my friends list. If he invited me, it actually softlocked my game. Oi, go away, Brave. It literally softlocked my game if he invited me to the, uh, to the, the group. Because it would open a... a so it open a, a, uh, a notification, but because the notification system I'm using doesn't have a way to be clickable, uh, there was no, there was nothing I could do. Like it would just freeze my game entirely. Uh, hey Brody, just join the stream. Don't miss anything. You missed me dying like ten times to the exact same uh, section of the game. So yes, but nothing, uh, nothing that was good content, or maybe it was good content. I don't know. Zoom looks similar on... Oh, right. I, f I thought Zoom... My brain just forgot what Zoom was for a second. Yeah, Zoom. That application that everybody loves. I actually do know of some people who, like, get to use Jitsi for, like, their, their school. No. Uh, no, like, the US. I can't remember what country it was in, though. I think it was, like, some European country. I don't remember which one, though. Um, someone just sent me a... Something about it on Twitter, if I recall correctly. Maybe someone here is a. Uh... Someone here has had that experience of getting to use something that is not Zoom. I honestly, I'd be happy using most things that are not Zoom. I used, uh... oi, during my my final year of uni, I used uh, Cisco's thing that I don't remember the name of. That's even honestly even worse. Do you think Zoom is bad? Like, you've seen... You've seen nothing. Oi. There we go. There we go. Teams? Oh, God. Cisco WebEx. Yes. Yes, that's the one. Thank you. Someone else here had to suffer through WebEx. Or is suffering through WebEx. Teams are so slow on Linux. Client is ass. Is there... There's a native client, isn't there? What do you use the web version? Yeah, I've just blanked out Cisco WebEx from my mind. I don't want to remember that it exists. Good morning from Germany. Good morning, Germany. How you doing? You are the second German here. I guess I'm in... I know this is a good stream time for Europeans. This is... 
Like, I'm actually, you know, like, my, you would think that my time zone is, like, a really difficult time zone to stream in. But from what I've found, it's really good if I stream in the morning for Americans and really good if I stream at night for the Europeans. It's, like, in the middle of the day that there's a mess for everyone, though. But luckily, I'm not a big fan of streaming, like, during the day. I sort of like to start my day with a stream or end my day with a stream. I use the web version of Team because the native client has some... has the same functionality. Uh... Ah, right. I'm Canadian, it's 2.16am. This is what I mean, right? Like, not just Americans, like North America in general. Like, nighttime streams are not good for North America. To be fair though, like, if you want to watch my gaming streams, it's not, not good if you... If you are in... Uh, God. If you're in, uh... Europe anyway. I had someone in my stream the other day who was like, oh yeah, it's uh, it's 4 4 a.m. right now. No, I got up there, damn it. It's it like, oh, it's 4 a.m. I was like, mate, go to, go to sleep. Like, why are you here? I'll still be live, like, another day. You don't have to be here right now. Oh. I, I see a ladder, and I have to get it. Come on. So... Oh, no. I'm gonna get this ladder. It's gonna happen. 11.17 a.m. for me. Good morning from Greece, Brody. Good morning, Greece. We have Europe. We have Greece here. What? What is the next European country that's gonna show up? We're at the start of the level. Shit. It is 3 p.m. here. 3 p.m. So that would put you in... Um, that's maths that I don't want to do right now. Uh, GMT plus something or other. Yeah, that one. GMT plus something or other. Asian gang at 5 p.m. here. Oh, yeah. Also, my, my stream time's really good for, like, not just East Asia, like, Southeast Asia as well. Like, uh, Southeast Asia... Yeah, there you go. You, you guys know your time zone. Um... East Asia is like an hour and a half, two an hour and a half, two hours uh, near me. So like it's all it's all G. I'm in a really good time zone. Like oddly enough. Oh, there we go. Uh, Brody, have you heard of a uh, Serenity OS? Ah, uh, yes, I have. About two seconds ago. Oi. Apart from that, no. Oh, is everyone gonna say, say the time zone now? Okay, that's cool. You can do that. Uh, New Zealand, uh, 11.18 p.m. here. Oh, yeah, it, it, my, my stream time is actually, like, bad for, like, <laughs> at least this time. Bad for anyone who's in, like, in the, uh, like, Australia region. Australia -ry region. I don't want to say Oceania because some parts are good, but, like, very close to Australia because we have, like, weird big time zone gaps. Because the country is very big. Oi. Surpri- Like, a lot of people get surprised like, how big Australia actually is. Didn't I- Wait, did I pop that before? Why did we go back to the start of the level? I literally popped that, didn't I? Wait, I did. Okay, sure. Uh, Lil Kemi Kemal 2... Uh... Why is your name so long? I didn't know you could even make a YouTube name that long. Uh, time is like one of those things you can study for years, uh, learn new things all the time. Yeah, like Australia's 15-minute time zones. Actually, not just 15-minute time zones, uh, 45-minute time zones as well. Yeah, Australia has 45-minute time zones. <laughs> also, it has unofficial time zones, like along highways. Oh, no! Are you serious? God damn it! Eh, there we go. So close. Uh, what's the rarest country a viewer from? Hey, there we go. No! God damn it. <laughs> uh, uh, I could tell you if, if I stop screwing up this game. Okay, cool. There we go. Okay. Okay, there we go. We good? We good? We good? Okay, we good. Uh, let me go to my analytics. I'll tell you. 
Let's have a look-see and find out, shall we? Uh, analytics. Audience. Uh, I believe, yeah, audience. And then if we go into advanced mode. Geography. Views by geography. Uh, yes. What is at the bottom of the list? I apparently have had... 940 views from Cro uh, from Morocco, uh, a, th uh, <clears throat> 1,031 from Croatia, 1,052 from Hong Kong, 1,064 from Thailand, uh, 1,119 from Colombia, 1,123 from Ireland, and 1,207 from Nepal. All right, then. I could go through the entire list from the bottom to the top, but... Uh, I guess the rarest country, at least on what it shows here, I don't know if it shows things that have below a certain view threshold, but the lowest on the list is Morocco. Highest is obviously uh, United States, then India, Germany, United Kingdom, and Canada, because obviously United States is... The highest, because I upload in US time. Uh, I upload at... Um, was... I don't remember what the time zone is. I, I, I don't... It's like... Just before... Just before... Uh, what's the word? Prime time in US. Uh, I, it's probably on the list somewhere. I'm not going to go through like every single country on the list. If you are watching my videos, then your country is on the list. <laughs> Do not worry. You are you you are not being uh you're not being suppressed by YouTube and your country is hidden. Uh I need to do a Morocco special? What is it, what do you mean a Morocco special? What what exactly would that would a Morocco special entail? I like the fact there's actually quite a few number tracks in this game. Like, I I wouldn't have been surprised if the game, like, had one track for, like, every single level. But, you know, I'm impressed. And I'm impressed I didn't die there. And I'm impressed I screwed that up. Yo, a coding wolf, how you doing? Go back and there is area to play. Go back and there's area to play. Like, up here? Oh, yeah, there is. Well, I guess I can die to go back. That's an option. I should have noticed that one. That was in a really obvious spot. Boop. There we go. Now it's just a matter of uh, not dying again. Uh, hey, I'm good. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. Could be, uh, could be worse. That's for sure. I'm wondering how many people from my country are watching your channel. Uh, what is your country? Uh, I cannot in infer your country from your name. Unless there is a country called Dark, which I do not know of. Could be worse. This could be an LFS stream. It's true. I Look, I do enjoy the LFS streams. I, there's, I, I'm not stopping them by any means. If I fall into that water, we basically soft lock the game. Uh, so let's not do that. Honestly, I, I kind of wish the water did kill you. Just so it was, like, less annoying to deal with. Yeah, there we go. Fun fact. If you don't die, you survive. True, though. That's true and real. Boop. Boop. Wow, it's, uh, some... Let's not die. Uh, that, that's some actual parkour mechanics. I'm impressed. Very impressed. People die when they're killed? Uh, usually... That's the usual, uh, the usual results there. I cannot confirm that in every case. I do know of, like, the cases where people have, like, had heart attacks and then claim that they, they saw, like, the afterlife. So, you know, maybe you don't die when you're killed. I, I can't say. Ayo, one of my fave games. Thank you. Uh, enjoy the time here, I guess. I will try to... Oh, there was a secret there. I will try to have fun with this. I literally had no idea where that secret was. I didn't even notice there was anything there. I think so far, look, if we're talking about like actual, if we're not memeing right now and because there's a haha -ha penguin, like 
if we're actually gonna... Oh, we're at the start of level. Shit. If we're actually talking about, like, what the best boss game actually... Uh, like, boss game actually is, I probably would have to say it's something like... If I'm being serious, probably, like, Sonic Robo Blast 2. If we're talking about platformers, definitely. If we're talking about general FOSS games, it's a tough one. Super Tux Kart competition next. I would like to do some Super Tux Kart with some mods. That, like, one of the problems I had with Super Tux Kart is when we were just, like, messing around. I thought your choice was Xenotic. Okay, if we're talking about all FOSS games, yeah, probably. Platformers, this game is high up there. Also because there's not many games like that. Um... But, I don't know. I, I do love Xenotic. Xenotic is a great game. I don't know if it's my favorite, because I haven't played Urban Terror in a while. And I think Urban Terror is an amazing game that everyone needs to experience. And maybe I'll have to do an Urban Terror stream at some point. Because there's a lot of people who just don't know that game even exists. What about Zero AD? Uh, I... Look, it's probably a great game. I have no doubts. I am not very good at RTS games. I am not just not very good at RTS games, uh, exceptionally bad at RTS games. So, oh, there is a big fish there. Okay. Like, really bad at RTS games. I suck at games, Lamel. Well, yeah, there's also that. But, like, if we're talking about the games I, I suck at... There are certain genres I suck less at, and one of those genres I suck less at is definitely not RTS. Let's see how far back this goes. Wow, Free Civ looks impressive visually. F I'm guessing Free Civ is a free version of Civilization. That would, you know, make sense, judging by its name. Is that a... What is that cap supposed to be? Do you know Mindistry? Um... I am, I am, I am aware, yes. I am aware of that game. I didn't stream it or anything on this channel. Uh, <laughs> I, I, yeah, I did stream it and stuff it. That game, okay, Mindistry is one of those games where you want to have the wiki open the entire time. Mindistry, unless you're already, like, knowledge about the, uh, knowledgeable about the game, is a horrible stream game. Oh! Wait, can we get it? Really? Okay, I hate these devs. I I hate these devs. So they they actually put soft locks in the game. You can't get out of here without dying. That is your only choice. Wow! Maybe there's a FOSS Rugby Simulator. You know, if there is, maybe I'll play it. I, I have no idea about the rules of Rugby, but... I can learn, I guess. I, I... Yeah, I, I couldn't even tell you, like... The first... The first thing to worry about with Rugby. Like, literally anything. But hey, if someone knows of a FOSS Rugby Simulator, I, I guess I'll play it. Because why not? That sounds like content. Can we just grab him with the head? Yes, we can. Gnu Newt Newt. Exactly. I sh now that I think about it, I should have titled the stream Gnu Newt. I can change it now. Uh, but Gnu Newt is a is is honestly a better name. What do you do other than YouTube? Uh, I put boxes on shelves and get paid too much money to do so. Because minimum wage in Australia is very, very high. Brody Robinson Channel is not a fan of sports ball. Not, not necessarily not a fan of sports ball. I just don't understand it. If you put some sports ball on, you know, I, I'll, I'll sit there and watch it. Be very confused about what's going on. But uh, I, it, it, I don't ask me like what's going on, because I, I, I won't have an answer for you. Go up here. 
Wow, this game is so nostalgic. I remember playing on my dad's old laptop as a preteen. Now, I wouldn't... Is the time frame we're working with here a time frame where this game would have, like, ran, like, ran slowly? Was there a time where this game ran slowly? Is the question. Oi. Was there a time where this game wasn't using textures that were just... The textures made bigger? The music's are awesome. It is a nice, pleasant loop. That's for sure. Hmm. Rugby is a very Australian matter. Um... No. Lies and slander. I think you're confusing uh, Australia with New Zealand. And that's very insulting. How do we get up there? Oh, from here, of course. I I am I am physically insulted right now. I will cancel you on Twitter. <laughs> uh you gotta you can just make sure you have permission to use said songs beforehand. Uh, I must have missed some earlier comment. Ooh, that was close. It, there we go. Boop. This level's actually really cool. Do you like FPS games? If not, why? I... Let's see. Ha okay. The, the thing when it comes to FPS games for me is back when I was a kid, like back when I was, you know, at the... Modern Warfare 2 age, you know, the, the time, that, that, that fun time. I was very, very into FPS games. Like, I was one of those kids who, you might be worried, like, they would break their controller. Um, so, I don't play competitive FPS now, typically for that reason. As for non-competitive FPS... I don't know, a lot of the time, I, I feel like it doesn't make great stream content just because I'm not very good at it. I am very, very rough with FPS games. Like, I... The only FPS game I've played most of the way through recently was, like... Was Borderlands. I don't hate FPS, it's just I don't play many of them anymore. The air flag gives Tux the ability to glide in the air for a few seconds while holding the jump key. Yes, it does. Whew! But it's also a way le a way worse ability than uh, the uh, the fire flower. But I'm guessing it's very useful for uh, getting to secrets in this area. Like any world that has it, secrets are probably going to be directly tied to this thing. And I screw that up. I'm guessing wall jumping's not a thing. Ah, oh, we have a thing there. Well, that's convenient. Guessing I know wall jumping is like a thing that they're working on, but I'm guessing it's not a thing yet, or it's not a thing unless you have a specific ability. Flying is useful for the upcoming levels. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you. Oh, oh. Shit, I missed those. Well, it is what it is. The, uh, this level has parallax foregrounds? All the levels have parallax foregrounds. Did you not notice those before? Like, the entire game is using a parallax effect. Parallax, I, I do like parallax. Parallax is cool. Like, it's a, it's a nice... It's a nice, like, basic way to give yourself the illusion of a 3D effect without really having to put the effort in to make a 3D effect. Which, you know, in a lot of cases, uh... It's fine. I uh, will, will you be angry if I give any spoilers? Does this game have a plot? Uh, I didn't know that. Um, if you... If you want to give a spoiler, I guess you can. I don't know what... I, I literally don't know what you could possibly be spoiling, but... Uh, you can have a Stream Deck-like experience by installing Linux on Nintendo Switch. Uh... Is there a project to do... Uh, Linux on a Switch? I know there was one for the Wii and the Wii U. I don't know if there's a Switch project yet. If there isn't, I, I just don't know about it.
I'm happy to be mistaken about it. I guess there's no Princess Peach. I know there's a, um... There's, like, something about saving the princess. I don't know who this princess is, though. Because there was no introduction to a princess when we started the game. Wait, did you mean Steam Deck or actually Stream Deck? I presume they meant... I presume they meant Steam Deck, not Stream Decks. But... Uh, I, I've, I've mistaken the two before as well. And I'm presu- I'm, I'm presure. I'm pretty sure, that's what I'm trying to say, that there's going to be a lot of people going forward, uh, mistaking them as well. Oh, God. Because I don't- I genuinely don't know why Valve chose that name. Like, of all the names they could have picked, why- why go with a name of something that is already, you know, well-established? Brody's English language pack is breaking. No, it's just it's it's functioning as its poor state as it always has. Oh, wait! I actually didn't expect there to be an invisible block right there. Ah, oh, there's a fire! Oh, that's cool! There's a little glow effect. Can you guys see it on the stream? You might be able to. That's cute. Hello, how you doing? Ex noob speakable. Zanoob speakable. I, I'm presu I don't know how you would say that. Zanoob? Ex noob? I'm gonna say ex noob. When I saw the first Steam Deck announcement, I thought the Stream Deck would be running Linux. Oh yeah, the Elgato The Elgato Stream Deck. Speaking of Elgato, oi. Uh, they are selling some beautiful snake oil recently. So they've got a. <laughs> Firstly, they're selling gamer foam. So they're, they're selling gamer sound foam that's like 10 times more expensive than any other sound, like acoustic foam you can get. So don't buy that. The, uh, the second thing is they're selling a gamer pedal. So they're selling a foot pedal for $90. Now, a foot pedal is a totally legitimate way to interact with your system. The problem is that you can buy a foot pedal for $20. And it does everything the, uh, the Elgato foot pedal is going to do. Gamer foam. No, I talked about this on the podcast as well. Like, acoustic foam is a... Oi. Is a very useful thing. But, like, the only thing special about the Elgato acoustic foam is that it's the Elgato acoustic foam. It, it looks cool. Probably make your own foot pedal cheaper. I don't know how you'd go about doing that. I know there are, like, those crazy people that make, like, custom keyboards. And I presume that they would have the know-how to do so. I don't have the know-how to do so. But, like, I guess you could put a, a mechanical switch below a, uh... Like, you could just make, like, a very simple keyboard and just put a foot pedal as your input instead of a, a keycap. I guess that would do basically the same thing. I hate people labeling things, making them more expensive because of the label. Uh, new natural, new gamer, new Gucci. Mate, don't don't hate on the gamer foam though. It's gonna make. I forgot you could do that. <laughs> it's gonna make you a better gamer. Why is there a backflip button? <laughs> Why is there a backflip button? Oh. Oh, it was a sick backflip, without a doubt, but like, I kind of wish it didn't happen. Can we break that? Can we... Will those break it? Okay. So the other ones we break by with a fireball. We don't have a fireball. How did we just get that one that was in the ice at the end there? I'm guessing we must have clipped into it just at the end. I'm waiting for the Elgato game... I'm surprised Elgato hasn't jumped on the NFT bandwagon yet. I'm- I'm genuinely surprised. Every, like, every other gaming company right now is. A lot of them are also getting, like, really, uh... Really roasted for it. So they are announcing the NFT project. They're getting... They're getting a lot of backlash for it. And then they are unannouncing it. And that's- that's how it's going. Oh! Okay, you can do that. Okay, cool. So you can... 
I don't know if there's enough distance to do to do it here. I wish Rockstar didn't bring Krypton. I, I think you mean I hope. There's a fish there. There is a fish there. How do we get... Oh, it's a fish that we... We have to break those boxes somehow. I'm guessing the... Um, the exploding thing that was here before was how you're supposed to do that, but we already killed it, so now we can't do that. Yeah, okay. Well, we're gonna have to miss that one then. It is what it is. If I was uh, paying attention, I would have been fine. I would have got it. Charge up and move to the center. I was trying to do that, but I couldn't get the angle right. Maybe there was a way to do it? Like, it. Like, you get, you get bumped too much uh, before you actually get in there. So you lose the, I guess, my, the horizontal momentum. That one. Yes, I know what I'm saying. Fun fact, you can right-click the Azrock NFT. Uh, wait, Azrock has an NFT? I missed that news. Oh, we're dead. NFTs are weird. True. Okay, I want to know if there are any uh, if there are any NFT shields here. I know I have some crypto uh, shields in my uh, in my audience, but what about NFTs? Are NFTs too far for you? Give me the deets. Let let me know how you feel about the NFTs. Uh, I really mind crypto because I care about the environment. Let's get into an uh, let let's start an argument about crypto. I want I want to see it happen. NFT suck? Okay, well that... Wait. You shouldn't be able to... You, you should not be able to get those like that. That's a bug. Uh, <laughs> yep, you should not be able to do that. Okay, NFT bad. True. Make the donation link to... Do I... Wait, change it to tip? Why change it to tip? Wait, it's already... Wait, isn't that already a link I have? Wait, what? Is that not the link already? Oh, no, the link at this point isn't the... What is the link right now? I don't even remember. Is it like... What is the link? NFTs are like... Non-fun... No, no, Non-fun... What is... Non-fun... What is... What is... What are these words that you are saying? I don't think I have any, like, hardcore crypto bros in my audience. I know I have some, like, some people who make use of, uh, make use of crypto and actually use it for, like, a productive use case. Um, but I don't think I have any, like, crypto good because it's crypto people in my audience. At least I don't think so. Last I checked, at least. Uh, NFC is just another expensive way to monetize some companies. Very true. You don't have to put any effort into uh, making content. You can just be like, oh, see how I already have these assets I made 10 years ago? Uh, let's just reuse them. Yay. Like That was what was happening with the the Kon Konami? Yeah, no, the Konami one, where they were just reselling um, art they'd made like 10 years ago. NFT, cool idea, bad implementation. The thing... The thing with, with NFTs for me, right? No one has explained an NFT to... Like, an, a use case for an NFT that required the NFTs. So, I was having a discussion with, uh... With Lunduk on Twitter the other day. Because Lunduk, if you don't know... Uh, Lunduk literally just lives on Twitter. He doesn't... He, he, I don't think he does anything else with his time besides posts on Twitter. Um... Even though he hates social media. But, anyway. Lunduk on Twitter. Uh, he was explaining why NFTs are so great. And I was just like, okay, so... He was like, oh, so... NFTs allow you to have a distributed marketplace that allow you to sell art or whatever. And I'm just like, so you want a distributed database with a shop front. Right, but N NFTs are popular. It's like, okay, okay, so NFTs are good because they're popular, not because 
there's any practical use case there. Is that the argument that we're having here? And I uh, didn't end up getting an answer back from him. Besides, oh, they're not popular, so like... Oh, you can swim faster. Oh, that that makes sense. Um, Lunduke's a fun guy. I recommend following his Twitter. It, it's a very... It's a very fun Twitter. Oh, you can get up there. How, how do you get the fish? Oi. It... Using that logic you like Windows because it's more popular. Right, but Windows doesn't let you sell art. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know what, Lund what Lunduk likes, actually. Lunduk... Lunduk's gone, like, far off the deep end. I, I, as I said, I, I highly recommend following Lunduk's Twitter. It's a very, very fun experience. Wait, you can swim? Uh, apparently in this version, yes. I presume that whatever version you played, that wasn't a thing. But yeah, as of... I, I don't know what version. But you can swim, yes. Can we get back up there? NFT technology is quite bad for the environment. So the thing with the, the, the NFT environment um, point... I have... Uh, people have mentioned this in the past. I don't know enough about the power requirements that go behind it to make a definitive statement there. It, it very well could be, very well couldn't be. I I don't know enough about it to make that statement. And I've I've made the mistake in the past of uh of acting like I did, but as I as I've uh, spent more time making content, I feel like certain things I should just not worry about commenting on. It's just better for everyone if I just ignored it. It Bleach Man Hunt's bad for the environment. Uh, token uh, power requirements, something, something. Ethereum requires lots of power. That's the general gist of what I understand. What is the keyboard bind to swim? The keyboard bind to move. I don't know what the keyboard bind... Uh, the keyboard bind to uh, do it quickly is. Whatever the jump button is, it's the same as the jump button. So whatever that ends up being on keyboard. It burn electric and uh, and release bad gas. It's bad. Yeah, basically that 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 seems to be the the general the general gist of it. Is it actually as bad as some people make it out to be? I don't know. I I haven't looked into it enough to to make that statement or not. It very well could be, but as I said, I I haven't looked into enough to make a definitive judgment on that. And I think it's better to just not worry about it. Super Tux is good music. True. I I feel like we're getting close to a boss fight. Give the VM 24 cores, 8 gigs of RAM. VM? VM. If we stop burning coal and oil power and use nuclear reactors, best source of power, there wouldn't be any issues. Well, this is true, but like, convince most governments to make use of nuclear and not be afraid of it because they're afraid of Chernobyl. Because, I don't know, there's a lot of people who still think that like the Chernobyl reactor is the the reactors we're making use of now, uh, making use of nowadays. Uh, where do you get Supertox from? Flatpak Arch Repo Steam. I got it from the Arch Repos. There's a lot of levels till the boss fight. Oh, is there like a boss fight? Oh, I thought there was gonna be like a boss fight at the end of each world. Well, I guess we'll probably get to it at some point. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Can we not do that? Stop it. Stop trying to kill me with your stupid backflip. There we go. Oi. Uh, we should have enough space. Fukushima, though. Uh, wasn't that reactor built, like, in the 60s or something? It was designed to never be able to turn it off? Because it was terribly designed. Oh, Chernobyl bad. Your brain is bad because you clearly have zero IQ. If you had zero IQ, I don't think you would have the, like, brain capacity to be able to breathe. I actually... I, I at, at what point 
is breathing a purely, like, physical reflex? Or do you need some level of intelligence to know how to breathe? I don't know. I'm not, I, I'm not a biologist. I'm sure someone can explain that one. Like, if you had a creature that had zero IQ, would it know how to breathe? Breathing is subconscious. I, I'll take your word for it. I don't know. If you get more flyer flowers, you can shoot long range and less cooldown. Ah, uh, yeah, you're like the seventh person who's mentioned that to me. <laughs> I appreciate it, though. Uh, I didn't realize there was a longer range there. Wait, if we do whoop, whoop. Yeah, there we go. Oi, oi, there we go. You guys breathe. You know that exha uh, exhaling is bad if you're wrong because of CO2, right? True, though. Like, you're not wrong. Oi. Wait, was it? I'm sure there's a way to get up there without d doing that. Well, Japanese people live in between four. Well, yeah, also there's that. Uh, you built a nuclear reactor on literally one of the most. Uh, one of the worst places in the entire world you could possibly build it. I don't... Is there a place that is worse for earthquakes than Japan? Like, m intersecting with more tectonic plates, uh, more consistent... has more consistent earthquakes. Is there a place that is worse to build a uh, reactor than Japan is? I exhale in plastic bags and store it in my cellar. Probably not. Uh, Filipino and Indonesia. E are earthquake common there? Speaking of earthquakes, every so often there's an earthquake in Australia. Uh, it, th they'll report it on the news. They'll be like, there was a, I don't know, whatever the, like, the lowest, uh, the lowest, um, uh, severity earthquake is. And they're like, ah, oh, yes, it... It, it, like, shook some, uh, shook some leaves or something. It's like, are you, are, are we actually reporting on this right now? Like, earthquakes is such an uncommon thing here that we just don't even know what to, to say about them. By the way, chat overlay is a bit slow. Uh, chat overlay is as quick as the chat is being rendered on my setup. Like, every so often there'll be an earthquake and it'll happen at, like, 2 in the morning or whatever, and no one wakes up for it. It just, it just happens, apparently. I'm sure, like, an actual earthquake is terrifying, but, like, I haven't experienced one. Oi, whoop. Wait, so if we go... Wait, can we... We should be able to get those ones by just janking it, shouldn't we? No, can we not jank... Ah, oh, we can jank these ones. There we go. <laughs> eh, jank it. Eh, eh, there we go. That, that is a bug that should not be able to occur. There we go. <laughs> there we go. We're good. Uh, there was some pretty serious shaking in Melbourne last year. Well, yeah, I'm in Adelaide, though. Like, if there's ever an earthquake, it's in Melbourne, and we get the aftershocks here, and, like, it's an actual meme. Like, our, our local uh, our local news, like, ah, oh, yes, there was a... Uh, uh, what, is the lo what is the scale of earthquakes? I don't know. What does it go up to? Is it seven? I want to say seven. Wait, there was a fish there? Uh, I don't think we can get back now. Six or seven? What is the... What is it? Four? Wait, it might be four. Wait, somebody who understands earthquakes, tell me what the, the Richter scale uses. Oh, is it ten? <laughs> okay, I was way off. Wait, you live in the big stump city. Big stump city. Is there a joke there I'm missing? Big stump city. Big stump city. Big stump city? Big stump city. Also, I don't live directly in Adelaide. I live, like, in the outer suburbs, because I don't have stupid amounts of money to buy an apartment. Also, I don't want to live in an apartment, because that sounds horrible. It. There we go. Oh, but you can't do that? Oh, you can go here, there. The Richter scale is a logarithmic scale that goes from... Zero to ten. Yes. I'll take your word for it. Just give your address. It's easier to find out your location. No. <sighs> I 
I live north of Adelaide. There's your. That's what you'll, I'll give you. Which also is most of the country. <laughs> ah, no, I'll give you a better one. I live north of the York Peninsula. There you go. Work that one out. What could possibly go wrong? Uh, good question. What could go wrong? I'm sure nothing would. Nothing at all. Everything would be perfect. You missed? You missed. May I never miss. You still live north. Well, which way really is north if we're talking? Wait, that's not how that works. No, north North has to do with the north. I was going to say which way really is north if we live on a globe. But no, that's up. Ignore me. I have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> Wait, bro. Fuck you. Get, get north and uh, north and up confused. That's that's the that's the time of the night it is right now. Ah, <laughs> oh, he don't miss. True though. Do you use Dgoogled Android? No, I use Chinese spyware. Um, I use a Oppo sub brand called Realme. Uh, where's my pen? I need my I need my my can opener. Uh, oh no, here's a better can opener. Here we go. Spoon. There we go. That works. Are you drunk north enough of the same? I've, look, this is only my second seltzer, so if I was, that would be bad, because they're one standard drink. Vsauce made a video about up. That sounds like a Vsauce video. I uh, won't be getting the Steam Deck in Australia soon, but Steam OS 3 will be available. Uh, yes, I'm very aware. I, If anyone... For anyone who's curious, uh, when SteamOS 3 is available, there will be a video on it, or a stream, or something. I will be doing... I will be milking SteamOS 3 for content, so, like, expect it. I kind of want to look at... There's a couple of things I do want to look at, though. Like, it makes use of a, uh, the compositor called Gamescope, which is a... I think it's a fork of their own compositor called Steam Comp. Manager or what? Or Steam Comp MGR. I presume the MGR stands for Manager. Uh, it has a, nice, a couple of nice features, like being able to easily make uh, virtual screens, and this makes it easier to work with things like FSR. Because FSR, when you're forcing it, goes based on your your screen resolution. So if you can't go above like 1080p, you actually can't really make use of FSR properly. But if you make a virtual screen at 4K, you can effectively force what uh, roughly equates to MSAA. It's not exactly the same, but for the sake of for the sake of uh, what we're talking about, it's effectively MSAA. Cuz FSR like by itself is it's it's useful, but not as useful at 1080p, but if you go from 4K down to 1080p, uh, that should look better. It should effectively give you AA without having to run AA. Ah, oh, that's cool. Games give is great to force 60 FPS in a game without uh, with uh, without slash with bad V-Sync. I didn't know about that feature. I I knew about the I knew about the. FSR thing. I, I saw a... I think it was Gaming on Linux article about it, actually. What is the most used FOSS software other than Linux? OBS? Yeah, o I, I would have to say OBS. OBS or... Uh, no, it's definitely OBS. Especially over the past couple of years, without a doubt. Uh, you could make an argument for Blender, but I don't think there's much else you could argue. OBS, GIMP, and Audacity. It's definitely not GIMP. Not a, not a chance that GIMP's on that list. Uh, but definitely, you could argue Audacity. I don't know if it would be Audacity or or OBS. It's one of them. If I had to guess, I would put my money on... It's it's tough because streaming has gotten incredibly pop... Oh, definitely not Firefox, no. Okay, I guess... 
Well, no, not chromium, unless we're counting using a fork. Because chromium, its most popular form is Google Chrome. So if we're talking about indirect use, uh, chromium, without a doubt. Firefox, no. No one uses Firefox outside of FOSS people. Um, I don't know. V oh, VLC. Yeah, no, sorry. VLC's easily on the, the top of that list. Yeah, no, I completely forgot about VLC. Yeah, no, VL we're not. E there's no discussion to, to even have here. It's VLC. Does that kill you? Oh, it does. If it's not VLC, though, I would have to say... I think... Oh, <laughs> that was good. good aim. I would have to say probably... Probably OBS? I don't know. Mm. Yeah, I would have to... I don't know. I, I'm, I'm really... I'm stuck between OBS and Audacity. Because Audacity has a lot of skill usage. But OBS, like, every, like, every streamer on the planet uses, um, yeah, every streamer on the planet uses OBS. A lot of schools make use of, um, make use of Audacity. It's one of them. It, it's definitely one of them. But yeah, besides that is VLC. Unless someone can think of something else that's just, like, I guess, escaping my mind. A lot of people use... Wait, Moodle is open source? Moodle is open source? Okay, um... I don't think... If we're talking about users, Moodle is very high up there. Like, most schools make use of Moodle. Open SSL, actually... You know what? That's fair as well. Yeah, that's also a really good answer. Um... I, I don't know if we count web servers, because people who are using web servers aren't using them directly. Like... Everyone's obviously connecting to a web server, but most people aren't running web servers. Also, WordPress. WordPress is... Wait, hold up. WordPress is open source? Okay, now we're getting into the discussion of... Uh, no, not definitely not Android. So, Android's in the same camp as Chromium, right? Obviously, everyone uses Android, but most people don't use the open source version of Android. They use a fork of Android. They use a proprietary fork, typically. Not all the time, but there's very few people that are running vanilla Android. Like even Google's devices, they were running a, they were running a, a like proprietary Google version of it. Like that was the the the, it was a slightly modified ROM, but it was still, I'm pretty sure it was still a proprietary ROM. I could be mistaken, and feel free to correct me if I am. But I, I believe it was still... I believe it was still proprietary? I use proprietary for Android. Yeah, most people do. Uh, how would we get over there? Oh, oh, jumping on that one. That's how. AOSP is the main open source Android. So, if we're counting... Okay, are we counting... Software that you are using on your own system, or only so, or are we also including things that run on external systems? Because if we're talking about external systems, um, probably Nginx. If if ex like if running on a web server and connecting to that web server counts, I think Nginx is probably at the top, or or some other common web server like that. I don't know if Nginx is the most popular, but it, it's one of the... It, it is a really popular one. Unless someone knows of a more popular uh, open source web server. But I know that like most beginner tutorials recommend using Nginx. So, a lot of people make use of that one. I don't think we should cut external ones. I, th I think that makes the, the conversation easier if we don't. I think it gets too complicated if we do. Because then you have to consider things like OpenSSL, Nginx, Apache, yeah. Uh, I, I guess, op well, OpenSSL you run locally, so I guess that's a bit different. Yeah, actually, no, that is different. 
Because open SSL is something that you run. Yeah, no, maybe it's open SSL. Because that's that's integrated into basically every web browser. Hmm. Oi. GPG? No, it's definitely not GPG. GPG and <laughs> Log4J. Well, <laughs> definitely, uh, definitely up until a couple of weeks ago. Definitely. That was. That was uh, high up there. Bash? No, not a chance it's Bash. Nobody uses Bash. Uh, nobody uses GPG either. There's actually a really good article on why GPG is like a terrible system that nobody should use. It's why it's a really like archaic... Um, what's the word? Uh, encryption system. I'm considering doing a video on it, but it's sort of outside of my scope. What, I use Bash? Okay, yes, th when I say nobody uses Bash, this is hyperbole. When I, I, I do not actually mean literally nobody uses Bash. Oh, that freezes them, that's cool. You mean the article I sent to you on, di oh, were you the one who sent it? Yes, okay, that one. I was considering doing a video on it. I'm, I'm not sure yet. Can we get deeper than software that runs above the OS? What do you have in mind then? What do you have in mind that's deeper than the OS that's open source? If you're using Minecraft Log4j, Java? Mm. Java's definitely high up there. Uh, uh, oh no. Oh, it depends on what implementation of Java you're running. Like, are we talking... Like, a lot of people aren't running OpenJDK. Is the... Hmm. C? Uh, well, there's different... C is not a, a thing. C is... There are different implementations of C. Like, you have GNU C and other, other Cs. Um, well, C is not FOSS. There are C libraries which are FOSS. Like GNU C, as as I mentioned, Python. Mmm, Python's definitely a good one. This is a banger track, by the way. You should not consider open source library for this argument, or this will become big. The arguments, or, or this conversation, already been taking the past like twenty minutes. The, the, the conversation's already gotten stupidly big. There, there's no need to, to leave out libraries. I use Faker for development. Well, uh, I hope you don't use it anymore. <laughs> is machine code open source? Uh, the thing, okay, the thing about machine code is depending on... The answer's no. Um, but depending on which uh, CPU... Uh, CPU architecture you're using, the assembly you run is different. But yes, the answer to the question is no. But machine code is not source code. Mm, I. What if the the program is literally written in assembly, like you wrote it by hand in assembly? Can you call it uh, source code then? Obviously, I understand the conversation if we're talking. Um, you know, compiled machine code, but if it's written in in machine code, is that different? I would say, I would have to say so. Like, take games that were written in the 90s, for example. A lot of those were written in assembly because it was just quicker. I mean, compiled machine code. Okay, fair enough. I, I had to make that distinction. Because obviously nowadays, most most people don't. But there are some situations where, you know, machine code is the way the software is being written. Um, it's mainly like embedded systems though, and very, very specialized situations. It's not, it's not something we're talking about for like general user software. It's like, hey, here is this, this piece of software that is only ever going to be run on this hardware. And that's basically what it is. So you're cl uh, claiming... Pokemon Red is open source. Uh, I didn't claim that at all. Risk V is open source. Yes. Also, no one uses it though, so there's also that problem. Or Risk Five, whatever you call it. 
the thing about Risk V though is Risk V is technically open source, but it's open source with support for extensions. So you can very easily have proprietary versions of uh, of Risk V. Like the the core to Risk V isn't uh, is it sorry isn't proprietary, but if you are basing your entire system around those proprietary extensions, then you can't exactly have that system working without them. I wrote a web server in x86. Why did you do that? It doesn't mean it doesn't have source code. Assembly usually seems to be linked as well as... Can we, can we get an explanation for this story? Or are you saying this is an example? Or are you saying... That is this something you did, or is it just an example? If you did this, you're a crazy person. I hope this is something you did. I want to. I want to hear this story. Hey, anything else up here? Oh. 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 Is this intentional? I. I presume it's intentional. It doesn't lead us anywhere. It just takes us here. Wait, so we just skip all those earlier bits for no for like no secret ending. Okay. But now it's a video game moment. Well, I guess we're just skipping all of that stuff then because I don't want to go back and do it all. Unless I like when is the level again? Glitch gremlin? I don't think it's a glitch. I think... I think there's supposed to be something there, and maybe there's something I missed. This isn't me playing Spyro. That game is genuinely broken. And Spyro Reignited is such a bad... Such a bad, bad HD remake. If you watch my Spyro stream, you'll see exactly what I mean. I forgot some Firefox in this conversation. I, no, I, Firefox isn't even worth considering in this conversation. Like, I I would have to guess that OBS is used more than Firefox. Maybe I'm wrong there, but I, my my best judgment is telling me that. I am willing to hear an argument if someone thinks I'm a. Uh, yeah, Firefox was mentioned earlier, and I think I commented on it. Um, yeah, it's definitely not big enough to count. But I'm willing to be wrong. If someone has an explanation for why Firefox is far more popular, then it, I, I think it is. Um, well, I burned my penis. Um, you should probably see a doctor about that. I don't know if four people who use Firefox. Maybe that's just me. Are you saying all four people are just you? I could see that. <laughs> Let's just check download counts. Not every project has download numbers. And a lot of projects bundle uh, things. Like OpenSSL, for example. That would be bundled in a lot of cases. Are you serious? Here in Germany, I don't know anyone who uses something other than Firefox, at least on their computer. Right. I, I'm not saying that nobody you nobody at all uses Firefox. I'm just saying that if we're talking about popular open source software, uh, then Firefox isn't worth discussing. Become Twitch partnered? No. That then I wouldn't be able to stream on YouTube, or at least stream at the same time. Like that's the main reason I don't because. I like restreaming. Restreaming is just a more productive way to stream. I, I totally respect anyone who wants to become partners. Like, that's cool, but like, not my thing. Well, I'm from Germany too. I only know one person who is using Firefox. Okay, maybe it's like a... Maybe it's a suburb thing. Like, people in certain suburbs use Firefox. And people in other suburbs don't. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just spitballing here. Boop, boop. I wonder if the secrets are marked differently here. I presume they would be. Oh, it's the ending right there. Let's not die just before the ending. That would be good. 
I haven't seen anything at Mark's Secrets here. Oh, thank you. Why does the snowball glow? Like, I get the fire flower glowing, but why does the snowball glow? I'm from Germany, I would be, uh... And I would be using on Google Chromium if I wasn't a lazy, dumb idiot. I know the feeling. I have been asked to do content on... Uh, on, on Google Chromium. I don't know why I haven't, actually. Like, I have no reason why I haven't. It's just I haven't done it. Alright. <laughs> Gets me every time. Um... When you, when you want to care about privacy, but it is so much effort. No, that's the problem, though. Like that's that's why a lot of people don't don't care about about privacy. If privacy was something that you just got as a default, right? Or if, or if the solutions that were the things that people already used were the private solutions, people would like would care about privacy. It's just the the solutions that offer you privacy are not the solutions that people want to use. They are not Google Chrome. They are they are not Zoom. They are not uh, other privacy disrespecting things that people use. I don't actually don't know if anyone wants to use uh, Zoom, to be honest. It's more like they have to. Chrome is spyware? Exactly, it is. But also, it's, it's spyware that people are very used to. It's the spyware that everybody uses. Three hundred and seventy-one thousand, uh, oh, two hundred and forty-six downloads of OBS GitHub releases. Is that how they distribute the Windows version, though? Or is that just if you download it from the GitHub? I don't know if they have a different uh, method to do it with the other versions. It's possible. I use GitHub over here, don't blame me. I'm not blaming you, I'm just questioning how they how they handle their numbers. Well, oh. uh Okay, that I feel like there's gonna be something hidden here. There's too many boxes for there not to be. But I could also just be wasting my time right now. How the hell do you break that one? Uh, how is there a way to get over there? Hmm. Clearly there's something I'm... Oh! Oh, you get it in there from this side. That would explain it. Oh, maybe you don't, actually. Uh, slide under with speed. Oh! Oh, that makes sense. Thank you. Brody, you should make a video on Source Hut. Actually surprised you haven't made one yet. I've made a video on GitLab either, so you shouldn't be that surprised. But yes, I, I would like to do one. Will the Arch toolchain be updated? So my understanding is um, they will be rebuilding the toolchain for the upcoming version of Thingy. Thingy my bobs. The, the, the software that's out. The Glibc. Glibc is the one that's getting updated. So with... Is it... The dot three five release. Yeah, that one. Uh, they're supposedly rebuilding it. Th that's just messages I've heard from the mailing list. I don't know if that's going to end up happening. But that is the... That is the plan I know of. Pretty made a video on your argument against the I have nothing to hide statement. Wait, did someone actually... Hold up, did someone actually say the I have nothing to... Did someone say the meme? My family members don't care about privacy and they just... Uh, they just say I, I, I have nothing to hide. I don't have anything to hide. Well, that's the argument a lot of people seem to make. Because I don't think a lot of people understand the... Firstly, the value of their data. Or the... Actually, no, it's just mainly the value of their data. And I guess you can throw in there the importance of privacy. But that's... That's less of a concern to a lot of people. I think more people would be... Would be worried if they understood, like, what... What a company like Facebook having access to their data actually means. Like, how much... How much that is actually worth to them. 
Yo, Wheeler, how you doing? Is that market? I don't know. I do have... Uh, I, I do have stuff to have. I do have stuff to have. I don't know... I don't know what that means, but sure, yes. It... Oh, there we go. Uh, I have nothing I want Google to know. Speaking of uh, not wanting people to know things, uh, please, please don't use the... Um, there's an HTTP header uh, called... Is it... Res don't track me. Yeah, that one. Um, don't... It's a... Here we go. It, is it... Don't track me? Is that what it's called? Um, HTTP don't track... Is it... I'm pretty sure that's what... Don't... No. What is the... Is that what the header's called? No. What's the header called? Yeah, do not track, sorry. Do not track, not don't track me. Um, it, it's n no longer, like, a thing that's recommended. The problem with do not track is no websites respected it. All they used it for was to identify that you were the one guy who connects to their website using do not track. This is just a way to get yourself fingerprinted. If you want to be fingerprinted more, feel free to use it. Uh... Besides that, though, please, please do not ever use that. It had good intentions. No sites were ever going to respect it because it wasn't something enshrined in law they had to worry about. It's like, oh, it's it. Do not track was a, a suggestion to a site, and it was a suggestion for the site to track you more. Uh, Facebook has money; they aren't going away. That. Uh, Facebook stocks. Here we go. <laughs> well, well, you might, you might not be, you'll be totally right about that one. 26% drop in a day is such a... Like, that's a crypto-level drop right there. I... I <laughs> uh, 1.3 million downloads just from Git, uh, GitHub, including all files for OBS. Couldn't find the number for their CDN. I assume their CDN will have more downloads. So, I've seen Kenny's video. Did Kenny do a video? Oh, I missed that one. Um, wait, can we go down this pipe? What, why is there a marker there? What does that mean? Nothing? I don't know. I presume that was something, but I, I don't know what's going on with that one. As much as we wish this loss would murder face, won't happen that quickly. Oh, no. It definitely won't, but uh, it, it was kind of crazy how much they dropped. I actually... Uh, the reason I initially heard about this is, is I was on I was on I think Twitter and um, there was a, a gaming outlet that posted how Amaranth had like lots of money in in Twitter like a million uh, in uh, in Facebook had a, had a, like a million dollars in Facebook and when the price dropped she lost three hundred thousand dollars and then was asking for donations. It's like you are unironically a millionaire. Who owns petrol stations? And you're ask and you're literally asking for donations right now. I'm pretty sure it was like half meme, but like the whole when you donate to Twitch streamers, most of the time you're donating or a lot of the time you're donating to like literal millionaires. Um it, it, it's it's very real. Facebook be ruining my family time. My parents just keep using them. Don't uh don't give a damn to talk to me. Yeah, I have the same problem. Like, when I visit my parents, back when I was a kid, my parents didn't understand, like, how to send an email. Nowadays, though, it's like, well, how do I, how do I, like, go, like, five minutes without, uh, how do I go five minutes without looking at my phone? She owns a 7-Eleven. Yeah, 7-Eleven. That's say I said a, um, petrol station. Yeah. She owns a convenience store franchise. Because, of course she does. 
Why is the bop getting better? Isn't asking for money her whole job on Twitch? Well, it is, but like... <laughs> you also just lost $300,000 from a bad investment, and now you're asking for, for donations to cover that. Wait, is that a secret area there? Looks like it should be, but I can't find anything. Twiggy is you... Who is, who is Twiggy? I don't know who this is. Uh, is suing Facebook using the image for crypto mining. He didn't just ask for money to provide services. Well, yeah, she she is a very uh, she's very inte intelligent uh, businesswoman. She is uh, she is certainly uh, certainly good at it. I won't deny that. She's incredibly successful at uh, getting money out of people who have nothing going for them in their lives. Get a hexagon profile picture in your Twitter profile. I've considered it. So there's actually there's, there's two ways to game that, right? First way is you just go onto OpenSea and you literally just uh you just make a, an NFT of your profile picture because OpenSea doesn't do any like copyright checks or anything like that. Um, so you can just do that. But your other option is uh, make your profile picture into the shape of a hexagon. And then on desktop, at least, it, ha it Twitter has support for prof uh, transparent profile pictures. What social media are you most active on except YouTube? Uh, I guess I, I post on Twitter, like, maybe... I don't know, seven times a day at most, probably. So Twitter, I guess. And by extension, Mastodon, because everything I post on Twitter also gets shared to Mastodon. But if you're... Oh, do we count Discord? Is this... Considering the way, like, what Discord is, is Discord a social media platform? Or is Discord just a chat platform? Because I think in, like, what Discord is, is more than just a, a chat platform. Oh, there we go. Oh, God. I, I don't know what... I was struggling with that. I just consider it a chat platform. Yeah, it's weird because, like, YouTube, a lot of people consider a social media platform. But for all intents and purposes, it's a video platform. Does Discord have a lot of those same elements where Discord is is also kind of a social media platform? I think it's at least worth having a discussion about. I just use it as a chat platform. I think that, like, it's fair. I don't know, I think, I think both interpretations have, have some merit. I consider it a social media platform because of how lots of communities make service for it. Yeah, it, it's not a chat platform in the same way that, like, Skype is a chat platform, right? Like, when people use Skype, Sure, maybe you would join, like, public groups for, like, a, I don't know, a, a WoW raid or whatever. Whatever nerdy things you do. Um, but typically, when you would be on, uh, on, on, on Skype, you would be with people that you specifically knew. You weren't sort of sharing it out to the world. But on Discord, it has all of these, like, little, I guess, I guess it's, it's, it's a social media platform split up into, like, clicks or cliques, depending on uh, what country you're in and whether you pronounce it wrong. I don't know. I, I, I'm not sure. I'm really not sure if you should consider a social media platform or not. Uh, Skype is not remote com computing software. Oh, yeah, well, uh, I know Skype's always had problems with uh, IP leaking, so, hey, it also does that as well. I call it social media if people interact. Mm. Is that fair? I think that might be... I think that might be too broad. Is Reddit considered social media? I don't know. Is Reddit social media or is it just a forum platform? Because if Reddit's social media... Does that make the ArchWiki social media? Does does a is a forum inherently social media? Oh. Oh. 
Maybe. Social news? Hmm, I think we need to distinguish these terms more. Forums, I guess, could be... I think it's it's sort of a precursor to social media. Because if we, if we break down what a social media platform actually is, right? A social media platform is... Like, each, each chat element, okay? Each chat element on something like Facebook. So you have... Or, I guess each post on Facebook. Each post on Facebook is sort of the equivalent of a micro-forum. Because, like, a, a chat... A chat... A chat tree, whatever you want to describe it as... It has a lot of the same properties that a forum has. So at what point does a forum diverge into social media? What does it need? Does it need a a follow system? Maybe it needs a follow system. Hmm. What kind of philosophical questions are these? Uh, philosophical questions that uh, we get into when I play open source game because there's not much to talk about in the game itself. I hate Discord clients so much lagging and I have to restart every 30 minutes because it becomes unusable. They bend over by clients and don't want to make their own better. Uh, whether they ban it is sort of depending on the, the day of the week. Like, it's technically against TOS, but it's also against TOS and FF14 to use uh, plugins as well, but like, it depends on whether the the, the mods want to ban you for it. Just joined your Discord. You active much? Uh, I'm active most of the time. I have Discord open most of the day. Whether I'm talking is another question. Uh, if if anyone ever wants anything, I, I'm usually going to be active if someone pings me. Please don't take that as a... As a... I, I guess... A, uh, prompt to ping me all day because I will just mute pings. But if someone wants anything, like you can generally ping me and I'll respond usually quick enough. Revolt open source Discord. I have heard mixed things about Revolt. I'm using Discord on Electron and it makes it a bit faster. Is, is that the latest version of Electron? I, I, I have no idea what the latest version is. Imagine not muting pings. I typically do, like, when I'm... When I don't want to be disturbed, like, I will, but... You know, if, if I'm... If I'm just, you know, chilling out, I will be up for having a conversation a lot of the time. Electron 9 is old. Oh, what is the latest version, then? Oh, <laughs> I couldn't see how we got over there, but I can, I can now see that... That's not solid. Sup, dinner bones. Uh, hi, I guess. Electron 13. Oh, it's a really old version. Okay. Oh, now we have to wait. Shit. Latest version is 7. Nobody knows what the latest version of Electron is, apparently. I'm going to clip the part you said you want to get pinged and everyone start pinging you. You know what? I'll take it because that would mean that someone's clipping my streams. Oh yeah, YouTube has a clipping feature, by the way. In case you didn't know. It's really bad. And I suggest instead using the clipping feature on Twitch because it's actually good. One of the many things where Twitch is just a better platform. Luke Smith lives in Minecraft. I, I've noticed that I've, I'm getting a lot of Luke's refugees recently. I'm getting a lot of comments about soy and a lot of comments about cringe. A lot of comments that I I was not getting previously. So I'm guessing it's because Luke's been gone for so long that uh, nobody has any idea what to do. Did you see uh, iDub's video about Sam Hyde? Uh, I haven't watched iDubs in so long, and no, I haven't. Should I soytify? Exactly. I'm cringe. Well, no, my thumbnails are cringe. So, like, I'm aware of this. I, like, I, I think, I think people think that I am not aware that my thumbnails are cringe. Like, no, that I am, I'm fully aware of this, and they are cringe on purpose. 
my thumbnails are the sufficient level of cringe where I am I am bothered by it, but bo not bothered by it enough where I don't want to upload the video. If anyone thinks that I'm not intent like doing like the soy faces intentionally, um, they must be new to the channel. Like those are very intentional. I know what I'm doing here. I've seen way worse thumbnails, uh, like LTT. Well, no, if I if you want to see me just be get like get really lazy with thumbnails, I, I can just do this. Uh, give me one second. Where, here it is. Here we go. Does he even autoplay video? No, he doesn't. Okay. I can just be really lazy with my thumbnails and just do basically the same thumbnail every single time. This is Asmund's go uh, Asmund Gold's channel. Just like, it's the same face in every single thumbnail. Like, if, if you think my thumbnails are cringe, I can just do this. And that'll be an improvement, I guess. <laughs> so, uh, be happy with what you've got. A thumbnails have to be something that makes people uh, make someone click. Doesn't really matter if it's cringe. Well, no, I've said it before. Like, if people think my thumbnails are cringe, uh, you're free to make me one. I'm I'm happy with that. Asmund Gold's thumbnails are legit awful. I know, but he has like tons of subs, so like clearly something's uh, something's working there. Oh, cutscene. Exhausted from his long walk, Tux decided to take a little break. But then, all of a sudden, he heard a loud roar from a distance. Is that a Yeti? <laughs> Wait. Wait, what is that animation? Would you clean shave your beard and get 30k subs on, on YouTube? Uh, a Yeti seems to observe observed him from far away. Concerned by the Yeti's sudden retreat, Tux decides to continue his journey. While secretly hoping not to run into the Yeti again by any means. Uh, for Asmund Gold, I just see a, a mess of way too busy color and my brain refused to pause and I scroll to the next video. Yeah, that's fair. I think it's- look, no, that explains Asmund's personality anyway. Uh, will I shave my beard for 30k subs? Um, I don't want to promise anything. Not because I- I- probably because I don't want to do it. If- look, if I shave my beard, it's gonna be some- for something bigger than 30k. I don't know what. But I feel like it's, it's got to be something more important than that. Because 30k, like, 30k is obviously important, but, like, it, it's just, like, I, I know I'm going to hit 30k. Like, there's no question of that. It's just, like, a matter of, a matter of when. I don't know if you're trying to say something in chat. It's, like, YouTube is a new censoring system. Or if you're, like... Oh, oh, we're dead. He'll shave when he announced the acquired acquired a girl. Yeah, sure. Acquired is a, a, a certainly an interesting term to use there, but sure. Don't shave your beard. We don't have to tell me that. Look, if I don't shave the beard, that means I don't get ID'd for alcohol anymore. Like when I shave it, I'm like I look 18. I hate facial hair, but like your beard. Well, uh, I I like facial hair and I like my beard, so I guess we are in agreement. I thought you had like 200k or something. Wait, you thought I had like 200k subs? Well, I, <laughs> I, I guess that, I guess that's a statement about the quality. I don't agree with you, but, um, I'll take the compliment, I guess. I know the content's way better than it used to be. Facial hair is incredibly attractive. Uh, I'm not gonna comment on that because you have not, because I. I I don't want, I don't want to be like, uh, what's the word, um, you know, caught in 4k. So I'm like, haha, look, he said something to some random person on stream. Look, it turns out, oh, this person, oh, we're not going to go there. Um, yes, 200k subs. I have more than 200k views. 
Uh, will you shave your beard if you don't hit 30k? You know what? Sure, I'll agree. I, I will agree with that. If I never hit 30k subs, you know, what? here we go. If I don't hit 30k subs by the end of the year, I'll shave my beard. I'll give you that one. You know what? If I do not hit 30k by the end of the year, I will shave my beard. <sighs> Only shave your upper lip and get an Amish outfit. Now that, that is an idea. I don't believe facial hair is extremely attractive. Well, I don't believe it's extremely attractive either, but I'm also not attracted to people that typically grow facial hair. So like, um, you know, regardless of what your gender is, I'm not a big fan of uh, the person I'm dating to have facial hair. I, I, I prefer you should not have that actually. I'm unsubbing right now. <laughs> You'll be back. They always come back. Of course, Brody would agree. Calculate the. Well, yeah, no, I'm, I'm gonna reach 30k by the end of next month. <laughs> yes, I'm unsubbing. Yeah, like, I I'm sure that, like, the 30 people that are watching this stream right now are really going to affect the, uh,. The fact that I'm hitting 30k in like in in March with like no no uh, like unless I make a Lunduke take right and I say something like I don't know um privacy doesn't matter uh, anonymity online it shouldn't be a thing unless I like make a video it, making a Lunduke take like that I think we're good and I have no plans to do that oh my what is this clip okay. Clip it and ship it. Uh, will you shave your beard if you don't hit 30k? You know what? Sure, I'll agree. I, I will agree with that. If I never hit 30k subs, you know, what? here we go. If I don't hit 30k subs by the end of the year, I'll shave my beard. I'll give you that one. True and real. You know what? If I do not hit 30k by the end, you know, uh, I'll stand by it. If I don't hit 30k by the end of the year. It's gonna happen. Ad block is piracy. Mmm. I think the com. Okay. I think that conversation is a lot more complicated than a lot of people want it to be. I don't know whether Linus is right, but I don't think he is as wrong as some people want him to be. Obviously, it's not illegal. There's, there's no, there's no uh, question about that, but. If the argument is regarding the, uh, no, I'm not starting the ad block debate. It's not happening. But if, God damn it. Basically, his argument revolves around how you're paying for the content. I'm not getting into it because I've gotten, I already got into it on the podcast. Um... Oh no, that, that's basically the, uh, the argument that Linus was making anyway. Like, basically his argument was it's not necessarily a good or a bad thing. It is what it is, but if you're going to use it, then you have to accept what it is. That's... I, I. He was never making a value judgment on whether it was a good or a bad thing to use. His, in, his uh, entire argument was, it is what it is, and we, you just have to... If you're going to use it, just accept, accept it for what it is, basically. And as I said, that's... That's as much as we're going to talk about on that uh, for today. Lewis and uh, Rossman's video on it was pretty convincing to me. I think Lewis made some really good arguments because Linus, look, Linus did make some pretty bad comparisons. Um, like the Cirque du Soleil comparison, for example. I, I, I fully agree with Lewis. Like that was a mess of comparison. Like I, I don't know why that was the, uh, the argument that he used. But I think the argument in its... I, already, I said I was, I was not going to talk about this and we're talking about this. Uh, I think the argument in its in its core sense does hold some some merit, even if it wasn't argued in the, the best way it could have been. Oh!
No way, the 1.8 map didn't work in 1.18. I can't believe it. I have no idea what the hell you're talking about. Is this Minecraft we're talking about? Oh, but that's gone. Okay, let's not talk about it if you don't want to. No, I say I don't want to, and then I keep doing it anyway, so, like, ignore me. The, uh, the, okay. The only reason I didn't want to talk about it is because I'd, I'd assumed that, uh, maybe probably wrongly, uh, that there would be people who would try to turn this into an argument here. Uh, but it seems like most people here are generally in agreement. Um, Adlock is a legal circumvention of PPV payments, not piracy. I don't think he... Okay, the, the whole thing with... I, I, a lot of people got caught up on the word. Caught up on the word piracy, ignoring the, the point that was being made. He never made the argument that it was piracy in the legal sense. Anyone who makes that argument is just wrong. Like, it's, it's, it's objectively not piracy in the legal sense. But just like how, uh, let's say, YouTube censoring videos is not a free speech issue in the legal sense, in the spirit of the idea, you can still have it as part of the discussion. I think it's a matter of what sort. What do we talk? What do we mean by piracy? Do we mean legal piracy, or do we mean the idea, like the philosophical idea of what piracy actually is? Is it only piracy if it is illegal? Some will say yes, and I think that's an absolutely fair argument. But, is there also an argument to be had that maybe it's also piracy if it's not necessarily illegal, but is still sort of following the same, I guess, criteria that would be piracy? Maybe. I don't know. I think it's possible. By the way, Dynamo was just a name if you give to... Yeah, I, I do remember that one. Um, didn't worry if you name a dog that, you get th things happen, yeah. Oh, you never mob that. It will flip upside down. Yes, that one. What? No, there's a different one for a dog, wasn't there? My country, no one gives a shit about piracy. I think most general people don't really care. Like, what they care about is, this is, well, this is the reason why people use Netflix. And the reason why people, le more, much less people pirate video games now. Piracy is a... It's a problem of convenience. I don't remember who said it, but if you make... If you make... Uh, obtaining something legally the more... Con or, yeah, the more convenient method. If you make it sufficiently convenient, people are just going to pay you money. Like, if it's just easier to pay you money, then people are just going to pay you money. They only pirate uh, content because it's cheaper and it's easier. Steam, iTunes, Netflix, exactly, yeah. Like, you can argue, like, oh, you don't own the content and all that. But yeah, that, and that's absolutely true. You don't own the content. But you can also go to Spotify, click uh, basically any artist on the platform unless you, uh, in the world, unless you're like Joni Mitchell, who, uh, that's, we're, not, we're definitely not getting into the, the Joe Rogan thing. Um, but... Most people on the... Most musicians are on Spotify. And it's very easy to find content on Spotify. So music piracy is far less than it was... Even back when I was a kid. Like, back when... Back in the LimeWire days. Was it... Oh, was it Gavin who, who talked about... Uh, simplifying access. That makes sense. Uh, streaming services now are too many. Well, yeah, this is the, the, the sort of problem that's happened. In, like, when Netflix was, or Netflix and, like, maybe, like, one other thing was the, was all that existed. Um, you know, everyone was happy with it. Now that every single, uh, every single media company has their own, their own platform, piracy's gone back up. Because they've, they've forgotten the reason why why people use their platforms. They forgot how convenient it was. 
now when everyone has their own platform, it is no longer convenient. Hey, Brody, have you seen a video called, uh, Soldier Boy Cranked at MIT Style? Uh, no, I haven't, but that sounds beautiful. Feel free to, uh, send it on the Discord or whatever, on, or Mastodon, or where, wherever you, wherever you find me. Uh... Uh, Spotify doesn't have Symphony Gear character songs in my region. Well, that's very sad. That's very. Those are very important tracks. Uh, what got you into using a, the a same style of shirts for your thumbnails? Okay, so the the thumb the thumbnail thing, right? So the thumbnail thing started because if you don't know, thumbnails typically get more clicked if they are higher contrast, and. I, as you can probably tell from the shirts that I wear in every video, typically I wear black shirts. And black shirts don't really pop. So I thought, hey, what is a type of shirt that pops? I know, Hawaiian shirts. And then I started wearing Hawaiian shirts, and then I just kept buying them. Uh, I think I have like seven now or something. It's not that many. But... Mainly it was because I, I wanted to address the issue of having more exciting thumbnails when I wear very boring clothes. Obviously, I could just do the whole only show my face thing, uh, but I feel like everybody was doing that, so I wanted to do it a little bit differently. At, le at least, like, somewhat. Maybe, maybe not as different as it could be. But at least somewhat. It's sad that clickbait actually clickbait actually works. Well, I've sort of said this before on the uh, the podcast. You think that you don't like clickbait. What you don't like is you don't like to be lied to. So if I if I have a clickbait thumbnail, clickbait title, right? And in the video, I actually address those points. And, and like in a in a reasonable sense, you don't care that I clickbaited you. You only care if I lied to you. So if I frame something in say a hyperbolic way, but what I what I did in the video, or what I did or what I said is what actually happened. It's just oh, thank you, enemy. I found the secret. I was not expecting that. But what I did in the video is sort of the sa relates to what I what I supposedly clickbaited you on. You don't really care that much. Take the uh, the Steam Deck video I did, for example. So that video, I had a a title that said, or a thumbnail that said, Valve has some explaining to do, and the title was something like. Steam Deck only has 200 playable or 200 verified games, whatever it is. Both of those things are valid statements because Valve said... Valve said that every game was going to work initially. They never said that, but a lot of people thought they said that. And it is true that only 200 games are marked as playable. Both of these things are true. But it's still framed in a way that some people would uh, would describe as as clickbait. But you have less of an issue with it because the content you ultimately received is I guess it still aligns with what was what was in the thing, what was in the in the content. I saw a secret path there. I don't know if you can actually get to that one or if that's just like marking on the map. Um There's a content creator with, like, uh, three simultaneous Let's Plays of City Sky. <laughs> Why do you have three playthroughs? Um, has no episode numbers anywhere or any indicator which playthrough it is in the title. I hope he at least has, like, a playlist. Sure, please tell me he at least has a playlist. Uh, some clickbait should fall under false advertising. I, I agree, yes. Absolutely, without a doubt. Um... What I really hate is, like, Let's Plays where they use clickbait titles and don't have... I actually don't... I I think... 
with the Let's Play thing, it depends on the way they structure it. If the Let's Play... If the... Watching each episode actually matters, I, I agree. But there's a lot of creators out there who sort of... They make Let's Plays as stream clips, so it doesn't really matter if you see the entire thing. Uh, I don't think it's clickbait if you don't lie. Clickbait implies lying, at least for me. I think it depends on the person. Because I have had people say, like, my my Steam Deck video was clickbait, for example, or other videos I've done was, were clickbait. I don't think I've ever lied in a title or lied in a thumbnail. I've certainly used hyperbole. I, I'm not going to deny that, like, at all. I, I am a frequent user of hyperbole. But it sort of depends on what your criteria is for lying, I guess. Like, do you... Like, do you want your... Do you want it to be only... Only the truth in the literal sense? Or are you allowing some level of... Some level of exaggeration? Personally, I'm fine with some level of exaggeration. And that's why I use it in my... In my titles and thumbnails. Is Electron a language? No, Electron is... It's a fra... I guess you can... Framework's probably the best way to, to describe it, I would say. Or library framework, whatever you want to call it, yeah. Technically, a frame, a library is a framework. Oh, sorry, a framework is a library. Not every... Every library is a frame... Sorry. Every framework is a library, but not every library is a framework. Yes. Like, I can have a library of disconnected functions. That wouldn't be a framework. But if I have something like React.js, that would be a framework. Clickbait can be cringe. Yeah, no, it can be, without a doubt. I'm, I will not disagree there. Well, yeah, Electron is also a glorified Chromium browser. There's also that. Uh, Electron is an NPM package that packages your app up with a copy of Chromium, basically. It's, I'm pretty sure it is based on Chromium, yeah. It's not just Chromium, it's like a... It's a stripped-down version of Chromium. Why does Discord target such an old version of Electron? Why do so many websites still build, um... Are still built with, like, 10-year-old frameworks, like, uh... jQuery? Because they are. <laughs> because corporate takes a long time to change things. I kind of wish they leaned more into the water mechanics, rather than just making this a straight-up Mario clone. Like, I don't know, may I had something like that. Discord doesn't even have Australian English, doesn't it? I feel insulted. I should cancel Discord, they're racist. Uh, there is an Electron Terminal. I'm well aware I did a video on it. And that got people angry. Uh, cause I, I don't know, they, they were angry that I talked about something Electron or something. Electron just works. The Electron hate makes no sense. The re Okay, the, the reason why a lot of developers build web apps. So from a corporate sense, the reason why you want to build a web app is because you've already built it. That, like, I, I know that, that that probably sounds really stupid, but the reason you build a web app is because you've already made a web app. So you might as well just reuse the web app. If you can just make one app and then release it on everything... Like, why wouldn't you do that? Like, from a purely business sense, like, why wouldn't you? Sure, it's not... It's not fast or anything, but... It's also just, like, the most... Productive way to do it. I love VS Code. VS Code's a good editor. I don't like some of the extra Microsoft-y stuff in the build, so I would use VS Code here. Electron is so resource intensive, it's just as bad for the environment as NFTs. <laughs> Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised to be honest. Honestly, all, to be to be completely honest though, all web browsers are really bad for that. As a developer, I'd rather use my existing React app, make an Electron app that uses 10 megabytes more RAM than rewriting QT. Exactly, that 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 right there is the reason why Electron's popular. Like, if Discord can just make a web app and then re-release the web app on every other system, like, why would you not do that? 
Is VS Coding me on Google Chromium a coder? It is exactly that, yes. It, it's literally just uh, a VS Code minus the Microsoft telemetry and a couple of other... Uh, it's also got a couple of like quality of life default changes. Because the way the VS Code is set up by default is... Um, I think the best way to put it is it's set up by someone who has literally never wrote a line of code in their entire life. So, there's there's some things you can change to make it a bit a bit more convenient to use. How do we get down there? Do we go I maybe we can go around. I could see that actually. Uh, what is the difference between Electron and PWA? So, a PWA is more of a concept than than a specific thing. Wait, have we soft-locked? Okay, no, we're good. So, there is, like, the, the Google idea of a PWA, but... It, it, there we go. It also depends on, like, what we actually mean by a PWA. Like, do we mean a Google a PWA? Or do we mean, like... Just the, the, I guess, the technical sense of what a, a PWA is. Basically, a PWA is a... I don't know, there's a good way to put it. Okay, so... A, a... A PWA is a desktop app that is built as a web app. And Electron is a technology to build... A desktop app that is a web app. That is, yeah, we'll, we'll describe it like that. Yeah. So every Electron app, every, wait, no. Yeah, no, that no, that doesn't make sense. Every every PWA, every Electron app is a PWA. Not every PWA is an Electron app. Electron is one way to build a PWA. Yeah, there we go. We got there eventually. Why is dub, uh, WSL called Windows Subsystem for Linux uh, when it is Linux Subsystem for Windows? Because Microsoft is more important. That's why. Like, there's, there's nothing else to it. Microsoft is just more important. They want to be the number one, so they'll be number one. It's their system. They'll name it whatever they want. Download HTML offline, P uh, PWA. Yeah, no, that that's technically not wrong, to be honest. Like, the only thing that makes it a PWA is that it's a web app you run off- you can run offline. But then, even then, like, there are, there are PWAs that you run online. That are, like, online only. Like, a uh, Gmail, for example. Like, you can have a PWA of Gmail. But, Gmail, obviously, to download, uh, your emails has to be online. Super pissed at Firefox and root PWA support. Yeah, they, they really shouldn't have. Like, PWA... Uh, support for turning sites into PWAs isn't a thing that I personally use, but it is a thing that people use for some reason. So you you want to have that feature there, you know, if you want to have users. But I don't think they want to. Because um, I, I, I presume everyone here knows that Mozilla is a is basically owned by Google, right? I don't have to explain this to anyone, yes? I, I really hope I don't. Because there's a lot of people who get very angry about this conversation. Especially on uh, r slash Linux. Um... Oh, okay, so you don't know. Okay. Um... So the only reason that Mozilla is still able to function right now is because they get paid uh, to have Google as their default search engine. Now, that, I believe, ends in a couple of years. But, yeah, most of their funding comes from Google. Yeah. Um. Actually, no, to be fair, most of the funding goes to their CEO. But, yes, most of the funding comes from Google. The other thing is the donations that you make to Firefox or to, to Mozilla don't necessarily go to the Firefox project. I didn't realize it was. It, 
Are you just spitballing a number, or is the number actually 75%? I didn't realize it was that high if that's the actual number. The Castle of Nolok. Oh. Oh, it's, Bow it's literally Bowser's Castle. Oh. <laughs> Alright, sure. I still use Mozilla, though. No, I think it, it's still fair to use it. Like, you can still make the argument that they are the only thing that uh, is stopping there being a complete um, chromium... Uh, what's the word? Monopoly, that one. I'm going to give you a listen to this track in case you can't hear it. This is a banger. best song in the game. I genuinely think this is the best song in the game. I don't know what's happened, but this music is much better than the uh, the earlier stuff. I, I'm almost certain this is someone different doing this track. Copyrighted? Uh, it's, it usually game music is fine. Also, I, I would... I would laugh my ass off if a gen if a uh, gen if a Foss project filed a copyright claim because I used their music. That would be the funniest thing. Cause if look if they did that, I I'd be getting a lot of uh, a lot of a lot of content from it. So uh, I don't think anyone would be dumb enough to do that. Why do most browsers base themselves on Chromium and not Firefox? I'm not entirely sure on the reason why. My understanding is Firefox is a nightmare to fork. I haven't done it myself, but that's what I've been told. Oh, wait, it's on Spotify? <laughs> oh. Well, yeah, I, I doubt they don't have the music copyrighted. It's just a matter of whether they would DMCA someone. Like, most... most Typical game devs wouldn't. Or WebKit. Uh, well, the reason why they don't use WebKit is because Chromium exists. Like, why would you use WebKit when Chromium's there? There are no, there, there are browsers based on Firefox, without a doubt. It's just most aren't. Like, yes, everyone is aware that things like, uh, you know, uh, Waterfox, Water yeah, Waterfox, Icefox is another one, um, oh, shit, uh, Libra Wolf, uh, Pale Browser, is that the one I'm thinking of? I feel like that's another one. There's one named after a snake that I don't remember the name of. Uh... My understanding, though, is it's harder to fork it. And Pale Moon. Yeah, that one. Yes, thank you. And I I know that Mozilla was working on a project to make it easier, and they ultimately dropped that project. I can't remember what it's called, though. Someone's going to tell me the name of it in, like, two seconds, though. Using LibreWolf right now, pretty good. Isn't LibreWolf effectively just a, um, like a Firefox config file, though? That's my understanding. Like, it's not really a... It's not really a, a Firefox fork. Like, it might be main... Like, it might be exist in a separate repo as one, but I'm pretty sure you can do everything that LibreWolf has done directly to Firefox. That's what I've been told, at least. I haven't looked into the project, so don't... Don't take my word for it. I, I could be, like, talking out of my ass right now. And I am, but, like, that, that's what I've been told. 
Um. There you go. Cool. Uh, pretty much, yeah, but at the end of the day, it's a lot easier to just use Libra Wolf and it also changes a few other things. Okay, yeah. I, I'd just been told it might be able to use it. I didn't actually know uh, specifically if that was the case. That one? Uh, NX WebKit dev told me that Chromium source code is very portable. It. There we go. Uh, Chromium source code is very portable and modular. Honestly, FF resident Google have it. Oh no, there's no question that Google's already beat you. Like, <laughs> Google's won this fight. Like, Firefox was knocked out in round two. Firefox has not gotten up. We're just all waiting for the for the referee to start the countdown. Like, if you actually think that there's, like... That, like, Firefox actually is a competition for, for Chrome. Like, I don't know what year you're living in. <laughs> Because it's certainly not a... Like, if you think that it, it's it's actual competition at this point, I think you think that, like, uh, Internet Explorer still matters. <laughs> oh, wait, is this a boss fight? Tux had reached the end of the castle. But to his surprise, all he could find was a letter. The princess is in another castle. A letter from Penny telling Tux that Nolok is taken to her to a far forest. Ah, oh, okay. Unsure about what Nolok was doing to her, Tux became worried about her well-being, or whatever it said. Until suddenly... Oh, Yeti! MPU would be great if you, if you I could ease the use of VLC. The the, uh, the, the the Yeti animation is beautiful. Oh. No more Mr. Ice Guy. No more Mr. Ice Guy. Oh, God. What a name. There are various MPV front ends. There are. Uh, I know... Isn't the... um? I want to say the GNOME video player is an MPV front end. I could be mistaken there, but I'm pretty sure it is. Is the FF rewrite in Rust still going? I know that a lot of FF is Rust. I don't know what the uh, what's going on uh, development side though. A uh, celluloid, yes, yeah, celluloid. That one. Thank you. Wait. Wait, is this... Wait, is this actually the boss fight? Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> well, t take back what I said. That was a that actually got me killed. So only has five health points. Yes, yeah, server... Servo was the pro thank you. Servo was the project I was thinking of that was gonna make um, Firefox a lot easier to fork, but ultimately they canned the project because I I, I don't know because Mozilla doesn't want users or something. I'm guessing. But that was easy. Oh, beat it in a good time. That's cute. Oh. Server was also complete browser rewrite in Rust. 
Uh, there are there are MPV plugins that you can browse your uh, your videos with. The Crystal Mine, contributed by Carsten Wurtz. Well, let's see what you've you've got for us, Carsten. MPV is a uh, one file at a time player. MP uh, VLC plays all like TV shows. As I said, there are plugins that you can use that will do exactly what you want. Can we get under there? Do you just have that big fish there for no reason? You might. Edge is an okay browser, pretty much. Uh, Chrome, but shields from red mount instead of mountain view. So here's the thing with um, with Edge. Edge is a great browser under one situation. Okay? The one situation where Edge is great is if you are trying to connect to legacy sites that require Internet Explorer support. Now, you might not think these exist. They exist. There are sites like this. They're mainly like internal company sites, but if you need that sort of support, uh, Edge is the only way you're doing it now because, you know, IE has been deprecated. So if that's the case, then yeah, um, it's great. But also the Windows version, uh, so the, uh, the Linux version doesn't have that engine support because they never actually ported the engine to Linux. So there's actually no reason to run it on Linux because otherwise it's literally just Chrome. Hey, bro, you need to go. Will you do LFS livestream using Clang, Muscle, BusyBox, ZFS, and S6 Knit setup so you'll have a nightmare? Um, I'm not going to do that, so I have a good dream, but, um, hey, maybe in the future. Uh, fair enough, I don't use Windows on my machine. The embedding, fi uh, embedding finance adware and forcing default was enough to make me hate it. Replace GNU with Plan 9. May I replace you with Plan 9? Boom. How do you how does that make you feel? I will wait. You will wait? You, what are you, what are we waiting for? Also, can you guys see the game fine? I know that like capture tech sometimes makes the like makes games feel like feel darker than they actually are. On my screen it's perfectly fine, but I don't know how it's gonna show up on the stream. BC box is enough for nightmare. Well, hey, we, we were dealing with compiling stuff last time, so oh, like going and like using um, what was it? Uh, FTP to download stuff. Uh, I can see it fine on my IPS monitor, so it should be good. Okay, cool. Works just great. Okay, cool. Awesome. Doesn't Edge have better privacy features compared to Chrome and Chrome only? I guess if our reference point is Chrome, probably. I I don't have specifics on it. Uh, what are your thoughts on the Swift language? I've... Okay, I don't know if I've talked about this before, but I've actually done Swift development. Uh, I had a Apple dev course at uni, and Swift is one of those... Swift is like the epitome of an Apple-made language. So... <laughs> okay. Swift is an OO language, right? Now, typically OO languages, for anyone who hasn't done OO before, have, they, they usually have a, a system called getters and setters. A getter and a setter is basically a way to access uh, private variables inside of the object. Now... Swift being a weird language, the Apple libraries don't have getters and setters. Everything is done with reflection. So rather than having individual getter and setter messages for uh, messages for every single property, there is a get method and there is a set method. Um, and you have to know the name of the variable pass in the variable as a string and then you can use that 
to access the data or to set the data. It is really weird and it's very prone to mistakes. Like you can think your code's fine, have a slight spelling mistake and not actually be able to set any variables. Like it's really weird. I have no idea why it's designed like that. But Apple will be like Apple will be. But I do think that it's it's absolutely worth giving uh, giving Swift a shot. Discord stream chat. What has happened in the Discord stream chat? Can I play this, or is this going to get me? I th I'm gonna play it for like a second. Nope. Definitely can't play that. Uh, <laughs> definitely can't play that. Prone to mistakes considering it, it was intended to be safe. Well, here's the thing. If you make a mistake, it's not going to be dangerous. It just won't work. So it's, it's perfectly safe. It just does nothing. <laughs> Whether that's the result you want, well, probably not, but like, hey, it's safe, if nothing else. Is the rich, uh, is it, uh, Richard Storm in that dance video? Well, no, the problem is that it's going to be a DMCA issue. Yeah, I, I play the dance video for like a second. Hey, Brody, when you're moving to Wayland Boy, uh, when I stop being lazy and I do it, which is a matter of me... Uh, not being lazy and doing it. But yes, I, I've said I want to do Wayland stuff. Uh, and it will be happening. I promise it will happen. It's just a matter of me, uh, doing it. You're playing on keyboard? Cringe? Can you see my hands right now? Okay, I'm gonna make this bigger for you, because clearly you have some sight issues. This is a controller. I'm playing on the controller. I'm not, I'm not playing on keyboard. What happened to gaming channel? Uh, I stream on there twice a week. I'm not sure what you mean. Wait, I'm dumb. <laughs> I know the feeling. <laughs> Have you considered the entire time you've been out to see my hands? <laughs> That's not an open source controller. Okay. 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 If you... For all these people complaining it's not open source controller, I know it's a meme, firstly. I, I'm aware it's a meme. Secondly, do you have an open source controller that you recommend I... Do? Actually, better yet, do you have an open source controller I can use? Not even recommend, just one that you know exists. Oh, we can look up and down. Oh, I didn't know that. Um, This level actually requires backtracking. Now I don't know where to go. Do we go down here? No, don't go down there. Oh, now we're soft locked. Oh, now we're soft locked. I hate you, devs. I, I hate you. I hate you with every fiber of my being. Why? Why can I be soft locked here? Steam controller is open source. Oh, is it? That's news to me. Okay, what is this? You activate two... Oh, oh you have to activate two switches to open this... D oh, okay. Okay, so that... We actually were doing something productive there. Honestly, it's really cool. It's making you do a lot of backtracking. Like, it's, it's, it's trying to be more than just a Mario clone, which is impressive. Ride a Foss on, uh, on screen controller? Uh, that'd be fun. Steam controller was discontinued, though. Right, but, like, I can pick it up on eBay for, like, 20 bucks. It might be discontinued, but it's. They're, they're not difficult to come by. It was, a, it was quite a popular controller. Well, there was no way we were getting out of that anyway. Was this made in mono or something? I don't know. Just let's check the GitHub. I don't. I doubt it's mono. 
Um, super Tux Git. It is a C++ program. So, probably not. Where are you finding Steam? Okay, maybe like 50 bucks. They're not expensive, is my point. Oh, we're dead. Also, eBay is an open source. Does a, uh, does an open source seller platform exist? Like, one that's already hosted. I don't want so I, I'm aware I can self-host something. So before people say that. Is there a existing self- or existing hosted, uh, sale platform? That is open source. Yes. That is- yes. Yes, that is what I'm trying to get at. <laughs> I'm forgetting what I'm trying to say. Uh, Luke's book website. Oh, the one that he paid an exposure for. Um, yes, that one. I think that's why Luke doesn't... I don't think li Luke likes me after after my take on that one. <laughs> Mine and many other people's take on that one. Where he, he, he straight up just paid an exposure. That was a while... That was a long while ago. Oh, we're dead. I think it was a brilliant design for a controller. Too bad it didn't catch on. What, the, uh, the Steam controller? Uh, it was a fairly, or, like, relatively popular controller. Like, among, at least, amongst a niche crowd, but still, like, anyone who had used it said it was a good controller. Obviously, it's nowhere near as popular as, like, a, a this is an Xbox One controller, but, like, the 360 controller, for example. But eBay has GitHub, though. What? What do they have on their GitHub? Because I know Tencent has a GitHub as well. Shall I, uh, yeah, in case you didn't know that, um, I'll, sh I'll show you. Tencent GitHub. Tencent actually really likes to open source a lot of their stuff. None of the stuff that's important, mind you. But they do like to make a lot of stuff open source. Uh, I, I presume for the same reason that Microsoft makes op stuff open source. Because if you make it open source, uh, people will develop it for you. What was your take that NFTs are cash grab opportunities for money laundering and Instagram influencers? I didn't say in those specific terms, but yes. I agree. You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say something that's uh, maybe controversial, Okay. Don't invest in a cryptocurrency that a YouTuber told you to invest in. Especially if that said YouTuber made the cryptocurrency. I know this is like a super hot take that no one's ever said before. But I, I like I, it's very important. Don't invest in crypto coins made by a YouTuber. Oh, we're dead again, shit. There has not been a single time that has ended well. Whether that is in uh, Save the Kids, that's in uh, the Ice Poseidon situation that just happened. Don't invest in YouTuber coins. Honestly, we shouldn't even call them crypto. We should just describe them as YouTuber coins. Like, that's, that's the best way to put it. Influencer coins. Like, that, that's probably the best way to put it. Any thoughts on Kubuntu? Uh, Ubuntu is 8. KDE is also 8. So it's it's a, like a double 8. Maybe that turns it into a good? I don't know. Buy product, then get excited for next product. Well, that's Wild West for crypto out there. Speaking of Wild West for crypto, do you know YouTube is considering integrating NFTs in their platform? So we might have a time in a relatively near future... Where, like, hey, you know, there's integration with things like Teespring. Um, you'll just be able to, like, buy your favorite YouTuber's uh, NFT. No, I'm not having a... Uh, no, I'm not having an NFT collection on my channel. Bug Rider is the is one of the fastest growing Linux YouTube channels. How many subs does Bug Rider have? 
Bug Rider does a lot of cool stuff. So he deserves it. Absolutely. No doubt. Bug Rider. Oh, wait, he's at 11k now. Jesus. My guy. Impressive. Uh, what is his growth per month? Let's see. Bug Rider... 1,900 subs in the last month. Wow. He absolutely deserves it. Look, here's the thing about Bug Rider, right? This is why Bug Rider is growing. Because for the longest time, being a Linux YouTuber meant you're not allowed to have fun. Like, there's so many people who complain about cringe thumbnails or cringe this, cringe that. Because being a Linux YouTuber means fun is not allowed. You cannot have fun if you make Linux videos. But DT's been changing that with his, uh... He, he keep calling them shorts, not shorts. His, like, his short-form content he's been doing. Uh, Bugs Rider's been making his meme videos. You better not be having fun right now. I know, right? No, like, I'm not even joking. Like, those are... There is a... Not an insignificant number of people who get bothered by the fact that, like, people are making fun videos and not super serious videos. I found a static site generator built in Rust from Bugs Rider. Bugs Rider makes cool things. See, I could also make cool things. It's just, uh, I'm lazy. <laughs> and I'd rather talk about the cool things that other people made. And someone's got to do it. I've sort of found my, my own little niche here. No one else is really doing, like, the same... Like, looking at... at at GitHub projects and GitLab and whatever. Looking at, at open source projects to the same extent that I'm doing. This is the niche that I've sort of, I guess, dug out for myself. When will the next LFS stream be? Maybe next week? I'm not confirming anything. Why is controller superior uh, to keyboard for gaming? Ah, uh, it's not, but it is for some games. Nowadays, there's you, Jeff Greeley, and my, and my Linux experiment. I don't know who either of those people are. My Linux experiment. My, my, wait, do you mean the, the Linux experiment? Or is there actually a channel called My Linux Experiment? Jeff Greeley. Oi, let me type. Jeff Jeff? There we go, thank you. Greeley. Greeley. Can I spell? Uh, I, that's... Not showing the person that I think you want it to be showing. Controller has auto-aim bit feet. What was... Controller game has auto-aim bit feet. Do you want to try that one again? Because I don't know what the hell you just said. Oh, Gearling. Oh my god, it's gotten dark. Okay. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what is this? Is there, okay, there's gotta be there's gotta be a gamma setting. There has to be a gamma setting. Surely, tell me there's a gamma setting. Uh there's no gamma setting. Okay, let's see if we can focus on the screen. Okay, I can I can see the screen, none of you guys can. And I apologize for this. We'll get through this section and then we'll be good. Why is it like this? Who thought this was a good idea? It's literally too dark to see anything. It isn't helped by the fact that I have these lights on my face. So it, it makes it much harder. It, like Everything's much brighter. I can see it mostly fine. Okay, well, at least one of us can. But I'm the one playing the game. So that doesn't particularly help me. Can we activate the switch there? Oh, elevator there. Okay, cool. 
I like Tech Heart and Gardener Brian. I like Tech Heart. I'm I I don't know. I think I think uh, Gardener makes some good videos. Emphasis on some. Um, I think when he focuses on the Linux gaming stuff, I think he's a, he makes really good content. I think the problem is that he doesn't spend enough time focusing on the Linux gaming stuff. Tries to do too much of the... Oh, there we go. Good. Tries to do too much of the, the commentary videos, and I don't think that his style works as well for that. Not to say he can't do it, he can do whatever the hell he wants. But I think if I was him, I would probably stick to the gaming stuff. Shine a torch on your screen. That I think would have the opposite effect. Do you listen to some ordinary podcast? Uh, right now, the only podcast I watch is Joe Rogan. Isn't he a Mozilla simp? Aren't most Linux users Mozilla simps though? Like, I've had people get, like, unironically angry with me when I explain the fact that, uh, that Google is basically the owner of, uh, Mozilla. Well, sure, you guys are able to think for yourselves. Like, that... Fine, but, like, there, there, there's definitely a lot of people who a anything Mozilla does is good. Even though Mozilla is basically dead at this point. Mozilla good. Anything that's not Mozilla is bad. But we're also not going to spend too much time trying to make sure that Mozilla grows. Uh, what is your favourite Joe Rogan clip? Mine is the one... W no, that's a, that's a pretty good clip. I, I will agree. Because uh, I, 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 I personally share the feeling. Um... <laughs> um I don't know if I have a favorite clip, to be honest. That that seems like a pretty good clip. This is a really long level. I know I usually like to listen to the, the podcast while I'm uh, at work. I like to ignore the customers and uh, just listen to a podcast. The level's still going. What the hell? I thought it was going to end there. Since GCC is out there tonight, uh, wait, here we go. Wait. Uh, since GCC is out there tonight, can you recommend good alternative up-to-date distros with a similarly large software library? I'm considering switching to Gen to Debian. 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 <laughs> um, like I'm not even joking. Like unironically, you use Debian. I like how people clipped Alex Jones explaining. Wait, did I completely forgot that even happened? Listening to Ludcast. Honestly, that's better content than this is. After a long trip, Tux finally managed to reach the new landscapes. Astonished by the scale of the forest and the much warmer temperature, Tux continued his search for Nolok and Penny. Well, yes, that would normally be the case, but the problem with uh, Arch... Okay, so the reason why Arch is showing a lot of its... Um... A lot of its age, a lot, a lot of its age, a lot of its issues right now is because Arch has become really, really popular in the past two years. Prior to, prior to like, I guess like last, yeah, actually really the year, last year or so, when Valve announced the fact they were going to be ba uh, basing the Steam Deck on Arch, Arch now has so much attention on it. And has so many more users, it's getting... I guess... Even though it has all these extra users, it's not really getting the extra development funding that you typically expect it to actually get.
Like, you would think that if a lot of people started using Arch, they would get a lot more funding. But I don't think that's that's actually the case. Uh, Brody, we'll be interviewing Trip Code Q7 sometime in the future. Uh, everything comes down to two things, right? Also, we, we are ending the stream soon. Uh, everything comes down to two things. Thing number uno one. Thing u numero uno one. I send them a DM. Numero uno... Numero... Numero... I don't know what the number for two is. Uh, n number two. Uh, they say yes. That's all. Uh, will you be trying to play or have you, uh, tried Sonic Robo Blast 2? Uh, I think that was literally the last open source game we played. Numero do. There we go. Uh, yes. Brody Robertson. Sonic Robo Blast. That is a horrible thumbnail. To be fair... To be fair, this is also a horrible thumbnail. DOS? You played Super Tuck Card after Sonic Road Blast. Okay. The one before the last one. Have you played Sonic Road Blast 2 Card? No. But I'm willing to. <sighs> Everything I am willing to play... I actually don't want to say everything I'm wanting to play. Uno, dos, tres, I don't know. Uno, dos, tre... Yep, there you go. There's my pr terrible pronunciation. I'm not going to... Look, don't even try to get me to try to pronounce it. Uh, look, my, my Japanese pronunciation is bad enough. And I've tried to learn that one. So don't get me to learn... To pronounce something I've never learned. Rip Debian has ton of funding but needs more devs. Well, Debian has tons of funding because Debian has corporate sponsorships. How's it going, Brody? It's going good. <sighs> Un, do, tro. There you go. That's the best you can get from me right now. I forgot four in French too, actually. Also, your hair is looking nice. No, it's not. Don't lie to me. So, my hair has gotten to the... So, the problem with my, me growing my hair out longer is there is this period where it looks like trash. It still looks like trash, but it's slowly getting out of the period where it looks like trash. The 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 point between it being short and it being long, the, the middle period, which is the longest period, y y it looks awful. Uh, better than Asmongold's. Right, but Asmund's going bold, so like, I'm not. Every time, like, look at this hairline, right? Look at this, look at this hairline. This is not a man who's gone bold. Um, every time I go and get a haircut, they, they're like, oh, your hair is too thick. We need to thin it. So, like, I'm, I'm all good with the hair front. If I do go bold, uh, or if I do start going bold, I'm just shaving it. Uh, speaking of Japanese, did you hear about Matt vs. Japan Project up in the uh, uproar cause? I did hear something about that. Mm. What baffles me about your hair is that you can bear with it even though AU is relatively hot versus other countries. Have I shown the the pic where I was where I look like a drug dealer? I don't have the picture right here. When I when I was in high oh at the end of high school I had long hair like down to like middle back long hair. So this is not the first time I've had long hair. I'm considering getting a haircut. More like my sister is bullying me. And eventually, I will decide to get a haircut. That's the better way to describe it. Every time I talk to my sister, she's like, Oh, you're going to get a haircut? Your hair looks horrible. You should get a haircut. Didn't know how to uh, grab how to command line. Yes, it does. Usually, you don't see it, though. Are you going to play Lost Ark when that comes out? Looks decent. Um, I don't know. Lost Ark's an EAC game, so I can't play it on Linux. But... I don't know, maybe I will play it. Right now, I'm, I'm playing a little 14, though. So, 14's taking up my time, and I'm enjoying playing 14, so. That's a common way for sisters to bully their brothers. No, she just bullies me all the time, so, like, I'm used to it. I got a haircut once. My bangs got down to my mouth, which is about every five to six months or so. I'm 19, I'm going bold. Well, look, embrace... Look, here's the thing, right? 
I think that if you're going bold at 19, embrace the boldness. Now, the question is whether you are a muscly white man. Because if you are, you'll look like a certain group of people that I'm not going to say the name of because YouTube will demonetize this video if I say their name. The, uh, the, 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 the Neo people. The ne yeah, you, you can do work out the rest there. If you're, if you're a muscly white man, maybe it's not a good idea. If you're a lanky dude, maybe it's a bit different. Um, have you thought about making your own Linux distro? I've thought about it. And then I thought about it an, uh, enough, and then I, I stopped thinking about it, because it seemed like a lot of work. AKA Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan's a weird exception. Because he's, like, he's just stoned all the time. Like, I think he's, he's perpetually stoned. Hey, my brother went bold at 16, so he refused to sit. Uh, may, okay, maybe 16's a bit different. But I, I think at some point, if you're, if you're losing your hair, you're probably better off just letting it go. Just let it go, get rid of the really bad hairline, and just, like, or, or buzz cut it. Like, buzz cut it maybe is fine. But don't, like, have this weird patchy thing. We already have enough distros. True, though. Minecraft Jesus Gaming, and you have a picture of Piccolo. Alright. A male pad in Bolton is a sign of high testosterone. Are you saying that my testosterone is low? Actually, male pattern bold uh, boldness runs in my family. Usually, I think my, my dad started going bold around 30, so we'll see what happens then. Uh, the kind of people Luke Smith associates with. Yes, the, the people on G. Uh, I went bold in my 20s. I didn't know you were bold. Mm. Uh, let's see. Anything else going on here? At some point, I'll, I'll turn the stream off when I get feel like it. Shake my head, low T, beta, arch. <laughs> oh. Man. I don't know where all these weird comments came from. The, the cringe comments. I mentioned it earlier. I'm going to show you some of them, actually. You know what? We're going to... Uh, here we go. Cr if I just search for cringe. You know... Here we go. Here's a, here's, here's a comment. Please stop with cringy thumbnails. Uh, ha literally has a picture of it. Oh, you can't see it. Wait. Here we go. Please stop with cringy thumbnails. It has a picture of Adventure Time as their profile picture. So, like... I don't, I don't know who should be talking about cringe here, man. I don't, I don't think you should be talking about cringe. Doesn't seem like, uh, you know, your glass... Stones in glass houses. That one. Yeah, that that's that's the one. Uh, we're super tux. I've been playing it the past three hours, so like we're stopping soon. Uh, you ever cover the Rust rewrite of Tor on your channel? I didn't know that existed, so no. But uh, that sounds fun. An addendum to the Brody Linux distro question: Would you ever go to the Game Ubuntu route, and make a pseudo distro to shell script that adds up-to-date repos and whatnot? So basically, like an Arch install script, effectively. Um, maybe. Uh, anime avatar cringe. Have you seen my prof my Twitter profile picture? Show my Twitter profile picture. I presume there's a lot of people here who haven't like who don't use Twitter. Uh, here we go. So it's very likely you haven't seen my Twitter profile picture. There you go. Uh, we if you ever stop your thumbnails, I'll cry Brody very hard. Uh, I'll okay. I'll, I'll keep that in mind and I won't stop them. Um. Do people not realize the whole point of a thumbnail is convincing people to click on your video? I think they actually don't realize that. I, I, like, I didn't even... You, you might think that sounds like a ridiculous statement, but I think there are people who actually don't understand that. You'd be surprised, uh, surprised to find out that he's invited two anime people on his podcast. Yeah, I've had two VTubers on. And there are, there are people, there, there are other, other people who I would like to bring on as well. Uh, the official tour devs are rewriting their tour project in Rust because their C code ultimately sucks. <laughs> hey, look, I can respect you realizing your code sucks. You don't throw glasses in stone, at stones, <laughs> it makes a mess. True though, like, you're not wrong. 
Do not throw glasses at stones. What are your thoughts about cute fish OS? Uh that's a that's a I, I I'm trying to think of a joke here. Um something something uwu. Oo how do we how do we merge uwu and I'm not sure. Uh have they shared their secrets for how to become 2D IRL asking for a friend? Uh that's secret secret conversations that I I cannot reveal. Are there any projects with uh, are there any projects with code that doesn't suck? Uh Suckless. No, it's the, the suckless code is god awful. I I hate the suckless code bases. Like it's it's genuinely disgusting looking at the suckless code. I, I don't know I, I don't know how anyone would be insane enough to like deal with that code base. That's uh that's a cute fish, exactly. Yes, that one. As a Mac user, I mean also Linux, but still a cute fish is literally just a Mac OS clone. You know what? Okay, we're going to look up cute fish right now. Cute fish OS. Would I use DWST D menu? Like, I'm not saying the software's not good. It's just I don't want to look at the code base because it's disgusting. Because there's no... there. Like, it's not self-documenting. It's just not documented. Like, you have to guess your way through the code base. Um, anyway. Make a better desktop OS. Focus on simplicity, beauty, and practicality. Better user experience. That is a color wheel. Oh, that is, that is straight up just a Mac settings icon. Also, copium question. Where's the copium? Uh... Oh, yeah, if you want to learn how to do VTuber stuff on Linux, you watch Ren's channel. Uh, Rogue Ren. Twitch ha literally has an internal tool named Owo. Oh, God, of course it does. Um, this is very Mackey. I can see that. That's cool. Uh, judging by the fact that it's got... Uh, Chinese there. I presume it's a Chinese project. Yeah, it's a Chinese project. Yep, that's, that's, that's very... I can't read that. <laughs> I see this as someone who knows some level of Japanese, and I'm like, this is gibberish. <laughs> like, ah, oh, yes, this is definitely kanji right now. I, 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 what, what is, what am I reading? Um, hey, is use DWM's xlib example... What the hell was that sentence? Hey, is use DWN as a xlib example base? I don't know what you just said, uh, but yes. Oh, and I subbed to Baby Woke today, actually. They're really cool. <laughs> oh, I love Baby Woke. I love that Baby Woke, like, got angry at the way I made my videos a while back. Like, it was like a year ago. They... Baby Rogue made a, a YouTube post, or whatever you call them, saying that people prefer text-to-speech voices, which clearly is true by the fact that my channel massively overtook yours. So, like, um, hey, Rogue is Brody's mortal enemy. Well, I wouldn't go that far, but, um, sure, yeah. No, I, li I, like, ba I like Baby Rogue. It, it, look, I just meme on Baby Rogue, because it is funny. Um, let's see. The text says, get out, dirty guy, you're shaking my head. <laughs> TTS voice sucks, especially for English. TTS is awful outside of meme content. True, though. Uh, there is a Linux distro that hasn't installed it that lets you install it directly from Windows without having to deal with flashing a, U a USB, changing with options, etc. Have you heard of it? Uh, I forgot the name of the distro. No, I haven't heard of it. And, uh, clearly we're going to have a discussion about it because neither of us know what it's called. <laughs> Th thank you for the, uh, thank you for the great content. I didn't sub for the longest time because of TTS. So once I get past that, it was kind of cool. How many subs does Baby Woke have at this point? I don't know. Well, granted, Baby Woke has a really, like, weird, um, really weird... Small, small audience focusing just on like GNOME. 
Like, if you focus just on Gnome, there's really only so many people who are going to care about watching it. Well, I guess mostly on Gnome. Uh, I guess there's technically other things that are not Gnome. Have a good night, see ya. Enjoy the rest of your night, Will. Or have a sleep, or whatever time it is for you. Uh, raid Happy Camper. Oh yeah, I guess I should be ending the stream soon, shouldn't I? Let's see who's streaming. Who is streaming on... Okay, you're not on Linux. You're pl un wait, Unless you're playing that in a emulator... Wait, are we showing it? No. Sorry, uh, someone is playing Legend of Arceus. And they, <laughs> they're playing Legend of Arceus and they, they're in the Linux tag. Um, oh, here's someone, <laughs> here's someone playing an anime game. Yes, <laughs> someone's playing, someone's playing an anime game. Uh, anyone who doesn't know what that project is. Um, let me, let me just close out of the game. Where's the game? Where's the game? Here we go. He's playing the anime game on Linux. Yeah, you know what? Uh, I'll do that. <laughs> uh, okay. I'll post the link on the chat as well if you want to go join. Uh, what was... Wait, how do you do a command again? It's not... What's the, what's the symbol we use for commands on Twitch? Um, I can't remember. Shit. Twitch commands. Is it? Oh, it is? Okay. Oh, it's slash. Thank you. Okay, here we go. Um... Uh, here we go. Uh, I'll grab the link here. And right now, there we go. Bottom of wealth. Wait, 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 wait. I gotta go to Catherine in... What? Here we go. Oh, shit! Thanks for the raid, Brody. Big fan. I'm hey! <laughs> nice. Hey! Thanks for the raid. Well, I guess he knows who I am then. That's cool. World famous Brody Robertson, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let me just shout you out. Oh, damn it. Well, that wasn't expected. <laughs> oh. All right. Oh, super Tux. Damn, I haven't played that in a while. Um, hmm. Anyway, um, okay, um, I might check out his stream. What am I doing? Uh, Bruh. So, as always, thank you guys for watching. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Do whatever it is you want to do. Uh, he is playing a game that is totally um, not breaking the Genshin terms of surface by avoiding the... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> by avoiding the Genshin uh, anti-cheat. He's definitely not doing that. So, yeah, that's not happening. Um, enjoy, enjoy that, I guess. Uh, I <laughs> so, as always, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'm going to go. I'm going to do whatever it is that I'm going to do. And... Uh... <laughs> It, have fun with that, I guess, Travis. Uh, I'm gonna go. So, uh, peace out. Here's the outro. And there's the ending.
Oh, my mic's not muted. Oh, okay. I, I guess I forgot to do that. Um, I don't know what to say now. Um, well, I guess, I guess I can just turn the screen off. I could do that. I can just keep talking. Bye.